Ay. Money. Ow. Charlie. Chaz. Yeah. I didn't know Jesse Turner was a Pantera fan. Well, oh, he, yeah, man. He, he's saying that he is, they are his inspiration hey, for yeah. the for the stuff that we're going to be checking out, I guess, here in a little bit. Ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, Jesse Turner went into the vaults. Yeah. The archives. Courtesy of the flux capacitor. Yeah. We went back in time. <laughs> the flux capacitor. And uh, so congratulations on that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he took the cobwebs and dust off of VHS tape. Eight millimeter. Eight millimeter. Yeah. Eight millimeter. <laughs> like, like the Wonder yeah. Years. <laughs> the Wonder Years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he went into the attic and he pulled out some... Exclusive footage that you've never ever seen. Never. Not even on his social media. No, yes. And this guy puts everything on his social it's media. It's there, Rock. Oh, it's there? Yes. Why bro. the hell did you say that? Now they're going to go to your social media. No, because they don't know where to find it. Oh, okay. You don't even know it, what the he hell He has it on about. MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it'll never. Yeah, it's, like, it's, my, it's a MySpace days. It'll never see the light of day. Yeah, and plus, if you get into MySpace, they're going to hack you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hey, is this death metal or what? What do you? What kind of music is this? Still, this, this was groove metal. Ah, okay, okay, it was called it, right. That's what it was considered. Yeah, yeah it's right? called so, groove metal. Yeah. Groove so, metal. so for those people that don't know, I I, I used to play with the grupo called Grupo Intento. Not, in, not intenso. Voy a cantar suavecito. Yeah, with Raúl and David. Suavecito, suavecito. From Blue Town, Texas. And uh, I was with them for a couple of years, man. And those guys, we, man, we would we had some crazy days back in those days. Yes, Anyways, several. <laughs> so so Eddie, the guy that would play the bass, he was a big Pantera uh, fan. Esos like guys, where más? Para toda la rosita de Blue Town. The Pantera pa intento. I know, I know. <laughs> How's that for a segue? <laughs> Pues el pinche intento tan peor que Pantera. Esos vatos sí hacían un desmadre y rompían. El pinche motel room no duraba nada, carnal. Well, yeah, yeah. No. That's like, kind of true. That's kind of true. El Valley Home Motel en West La Coquete, la boca chara. <laughs> A satanic ritual in the bathroom. <laughs> so what were you saying? I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, so Eddie, the guy that plays the bass, uh -huh. he, he would play the bass with the intento. One time he started bringing, bringing uh, video VHS tapes of uh, Pantera. Mm-hmm. And I said, what is this? And, and, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, man. And I, I couldn't stop laughing. It was entertaining. It was very entertaining. They would pay the road crew to eat uh, live fish and to, uh, like, poop in bags and to do stupid stuff. Bro, it was jackass before jackass, now that I'm looking. I'm yes, yeah. very mm -hmm. much. Yeah, it was jackass. So, it so when I started seeing them, it, it was like. Uh, Jack has started like yeah in the late nineties, mm -hmm. right? I think so. On MTV, no, yeah. or no, Did no, it? mid. It was in the mid to late nineties on MTV. Yeah, yeah, but I, prior to this, I'm like, man, they got this from Pantera. That was that was me just saying that, right? Yeah. And then later on, uh, we took it to another another level, but we'll talk about that later. Well, we're not going to talk about it. We're actually going to see it. Yeah, yeah well, but we'll see you later. And and then you know, the last time we saw you, you were in a wheelchair, bro. I was in a wheelchair. And after seeing. Clips of that video, I understand why. Yep. So, yeah. ladies and problem. gentlemen, don't go anywhere because we've got some uh, pretty cool stuff to show you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, hashtag PBT Wednesday Night Live. Woo! Orale. Suavecito, suavecito. Y si la tienes suavecita, <laughs> Dr. T's primary care for men. <laughs> if you feel sluggish, tired, gain weight, and you're looking for a uh, primary care clinic to help uh, improve the quality of your life, y para no tener la suavecita, suavecito. They handle your primary care needs. They'll help you lose weight and get you feeling younger and healthier again. 1-855-771-1650 or drtease.com. You'll learn more about hormone replacement therapy that will keep you from being... Uh, Wait, can I add to that? Yeah. When 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 I injured my back, when you saw me in, in Rio Grande, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. T, was, it, first of all, I went to this hospital. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I got them in trouble. Um, I, I got nothing but love for them. So I, I wasn't really taken care of. Uh -huh. So uh, I called up uh, Dr. Galvan from Dr. T's. Okay. I said, all hey, right. doc. I go, man, I go, 
eh, pasó esto y es, oh, man, oh, no. Es bien tranquilo. Uh -huh, yeah. Mr. Galvan, es, es, es bien tranquilo. Es bien raza. Uh -huh. He goes, oh, man, I'm throwing some dirt, but uh, 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 <laughs> go to my office in, in, in Edinburgh before you go to your show in Rio Grande. And I said, all right. So I came to, uh, to his office and he, he, he looked at my, my back. He said, you know what? You, you need to go get checked. But meanwhile, here are two injections of, uh, of uh, some kind of inflammatory Disinflammatory. Uh, yeah, disinflammatory mm -hmm. and some pain medicine. And I was able to make it to my show in Rio Grande. So honestly, thank you to Dr. T. Not only does he do that, but he also does re regular checkups. Yeah, I mean, you can. that could be your primary. I mean, you can go there and they'll check your blood. They'll give you uh, your yearly physicals. I, 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 get, I get my physical with him. If you have Every if you year. have a son in sports, uh, you can take him there as yes, well. Yes, that's true. Uh, mm -hmm. But testosterone is where it's at. If you're low on testosterone, life kind of sucks. So you need to get it right back mm -hmm. on there. Uh, weight loss therapy, IV vitamin infusion, and peptide therapy. Doctor T's primary care. Just look at me. Anyway. Look at me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just look at the shirt. Hey, <laughs> la shirt. Asustame one time, papa. <laughs> wow, that's a big change. He was full of confidence. I like that. Yeah. 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 When you first Do Dr. T's will do that to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he man. And if you want to chill, go to the Green Hit. They offer a natural alternative for stress and pain with various CBD infused oils, lotions, edibles, gummies, and even the inhalants. Saludos uh, para Checo and, to and Jessica. Yeah. To combat and recuperate <laughs> the body and mind. They've got amazing name brand bongs and pipes and all the accessories for smoking. Their detoxers can help purge out all the toxins in your body uh, mm. that it absorbs from the day-to-day -day, uh, activities and stuff. Full body and mental relaxation. Veterans are always welcome, and they always have special discounts. They have the most knowledgeable staff in the industry with Hector Louie and Javi Man. Those guys know what they're talking about. When you go visit them and buy something, you end up hanging out there for a while and talking about metal, wrestling, uh, sports, Dallas Cowboys, uh, Far Texas, you can find them there, 666-9088. Admission, it's 956-591-0114. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram. Also, the Green Hit is a perfect place for relaxing the mind and spirit in an all-natural way. What I love. So, uh, speaking of Dallas Cowboys, uh, you're still a Texan fan? Always. Always. So, remember when we ran into them out yes. there? Like, yes. Yes. Yeah, bro. What is it? Every interview you bring this up? Los Cowboys le ganaron a los Texans. And you know what? Yeah. You better pray that my Texans that are losing every game, you better pray they don't that they don't beat the Cowboys in the middle of the season because they have an amazing team. No, break up, man. Huh? Hey, let me ask you. Una feriecita, okay, unos 50 bucks, okay, dad. 50 bucks? Hell no, hell no. No, like, no we don't. Los Cowboys, I mean, we don't have a quarterback. Dave Mills sucks. I'm sorry, he does. Hey, they almost came back against you know the Chargers. You know what? I, I've never had the, the platform to say this, but you know what? I have something to say about Deshaun Watson because I still have his jersey. El que le están dando masajes y el vato estaba metiendo mano en la You know what I got to say about that? <laughs> el vato, el vato quería, he, he wanted to uh, have, uh, he wanted, he wanted, Deshaun Watson, he said mm -hmm. that he wanted to know. I know he wanted to be a part of the decision making of the coach, right? Mm -hmm. He wanted to be he he and because of that, he decided not to be with the team. Okay, he wants to be part of the picking a coach, right? He said no hope because they didn't even include him. And well, yet and he, yet he can't even he can't even pick one masseuse. I thought they had let him go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they had let him go. Yeah, they of, did. Okay. Yeah, because right, so. of stupid shit he did. Yeah. But I bought that jersey for nothing. Yeah. Now they're offering a discount. Ching, no, that, I'm, I'm being serious. That's that a goodwill? I know. That is goodwill. <laughs> Where all the rest of the Texan. Uh, hey, but in, in, honest, in honesty, the Cowboys look good. I, so do the Eagles and so do the Giants. Would you put Dak in this uh, Sunday night against Absolutely the Eagles? Absolutely not. Why not? Because I say don't uh, fix what's not broken. Right now it's working. Let's wait. But yeah. I mean, Dak's the one getting a hundred and sixty some million dollars and shit, right? Hey, yeah, but so was Bletsu. Bletsu was getting paid back in the days, and they put Tom Brady. And what happened? So you'd leave a uh, Cooper Rush in for now? Yeah, let's see what he does. Well, I mean, the, it looks like the offense is clicking, and you know, with why Dak again? Look, this also happened with Tro with uh, Tony Romo. It happened with Tony Romo. Uh, I know Dak came in and Dak took came his in job. And just took his job. He, did, did you did you notice Dak on the first game that Cooper Rush? He was like, yeah, yeah, now cheerleader. Now and that then fun. after that, it was like a la madre. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't watch the game, but I I, I see yeah. the highlights and I see see see, 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 see,
El que se vienta es number 20. El number yes, 20. Number 20 is good. I don't, yeah, I'm not a, a running back. No, hombre, está pesado. What's his name? Este, ¿Cómo se llama el number 20? Murray? No, no, yeah. What's his name? Oh, ahorita my God. Ahorita dice alguien en el chat. Yes. Oh, cowboy fat number. Es que ahorita estoy con, tú sabes, un poquito de... <laughs> Yes. His mind's a I'm little too relaxed. I'm focusing on you, Jesse. Yes. Okay, Rob. Focusing on well, you. Stop talking about the damn cowboys. Okay, all right. Okay. I Best of luck stop. to them. Best of luck to them. I know. You know what? I always said. I've always said. Anything that comes out of Texas, man, I, I'd love. I would love to see the the Cowboys and the and the Texans in a Super Bowl. Or like anything, the Rockets, Spurs, Mavericks, them before anybody else in the United States. I'm sorry. Please, much love to everybody. Sí, sí. And, and, and I want, I'd rather have the Cowboys and the Texans win than Pollard. Any, any other team. <laughs> yes, Pollard. Everybody's <laughs> shouting, Pollard, it's yeah, yeah, Pollard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reason I pretend not to know is so people can engage. Yes, oh it's all about oh, engagement. It's part of your tractor beam. Yeah. Uh, so your tractor beam plan. Bro, <laughs> on social media, I'll ask a question that I know the answer to, and a hundred people will answer. There's engagement. That's I just smart. got everybody to put Pollard. Pollard, yeah. Chinga no puedo poner Pollard. No estoy subscribed. I can't, I can't subscribe. put Pollard. Orale, Pollard. Ahí está. Orale, carna. Susta me Great strategy. We just went up about 100 subscribers right We now. did. <laughs> just by me acting soncito. You know what I mean? <laughs> I noticed you're wearing your sunglasses, Rock. You decided to go more, not so much librarian and more... Uh, <laughs> Udo Dirk Snyder. Yeah, yeah. Udo Dirk Snyder. Who the fuck knows Udo <laughs> Dirk Snyder? I should have said you guys. Uh, not a singer that except, except I should have said Telly Savalas. Yeah. Even that's too old. Yeah, I have no, I I have no idea. Telly Savalas. They don't, they don't even know him as Telly Savalas. They know him as Kojak. Kojak. Yeah. Yeah. No a mí háblame de Fruity, Fruity Villarreal. Hey, Fruity. I can I can do in the show. Sí, me le saludas como. Yeah. Oye, Salud, Fruity. And did uh did um did Lucky Joe ever cut the yard or no, carnal? He never cut the grass. ¿Qué pasó con ese pedito? ¿No lo pusiste a cortar la yard del vato? He never, he never, he never cut the grass, bro. Oh. He'll pay. And Have, this guy puts the the lawn guy like on the spot. Yeah, it's because you know he he went and he asked the guy, se llama Santos, le dijo a Santos, oiga, ¿quién es el que corta esta? Wow, he's, he's gonna say him because we we pay him to cut the grass. But there's times that I like to do it. Kind of like for therapy, bro. Mm -hmm. And I go out there with my with my lawnmower, and I'm out there cutting. He le gonna lucky. He said, "Me parece le pagamos Santos." That's true. Yeah, that's but true. but do it. That's for his gig. Yeah, but do it for exercise. Yeah, you know, I do it for exercise. It is therapy. It is therapy you to me. I mean, se pone los headphones, te entras un gummy de green head y vamos a recio carnal. Asusta me one time. I don't take the gummy, but I but I but I but I will cut the grass. Ahora listo. So, um, <laughs> what have you been up to, bro? I haven't, uh, much, you man. know, I mean. Not much, I mean, so many things have happened. I mean, I've, I always have good things happen, funny things happen. Fuiste al funeral de, de Bernal, ¿verdad? Yeah. Talk but, to me about that, bro. I, Paulino I was Bernal? Yeah, Paulino Bernal. You were in Bakersfield, California, the night before the funeral or the the, the wake, right? So, so, no, so let me take you a couple of days back, right? Uh, uh, tell me. I First of all, he, Paulino Bernal, they, they tell me, hey, Paulino Bernal just passed. It affects me. It affects me because uh, anytime that someone from your childhood dies and they're very heavily connected and people don't know. But again, I, you, you've seen the videos. If you go back and, and look at PVT, uh, Signal and uh, the Roots, the, the, the Signal, mm -hmm. that's what I used to listen to. I, I, that was the only music I could listen to was Paulino Bernal. My dad and my mom would go to Paulino Bernal's. Uh, las campañas que tenían here all over the valley. The tents, right? They do the tent revivals. The tent revivals. Yeah. And we would go to them. So the only songs that I would play at church were all of Paulino Bernal's. El el tren de la vida va llegando ya. You know, uh, uh, Un Día a la Vez. Mm -hmm. I, I ended up recording Un Día a la Vez, mm -hmm. just like Paulino did. Wow. You know, so uh, when he passed, I took it kind of hard. You know, I, I went to a... I went to a very sad place. What would you consider Paulino? Is he like the fa the godfather of accordion? I mean, because you got el rey del accordion. You've got you know. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I, I would I would definitely call him. I don't know. He's just he's just a very important figure in in our industry. Period. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, if there's no Paulino Bernal, there's no Ramon Ayala. If there's no Ramon Ayala, there's no Intocable. Yeah. You know, and then it, it keeps going. Yeah. Pesado. You you keep. It spawns so many. There's no signal. A lot of a lot of people have always asked me, "Well, uh, how do you know so much about Paulino?" I mean, I I was, he was a giant, but to me, 
he was a giant in the Christian world, mm -hmm. right? So, so he gave his life when he was about, God, I don't remember the age, but he used to live with his mom and in, in here in in, uh, in McAllen. And then the, his parents got separated and he moved over to Kingsville. He's originally from Raymondville or he mm -hmm. was born in Raymond. He was born in Raymondville, came to live here in McAllen. And then they got separated. Then Paulino went to go live in Kingsville. And then uh, he had uh, his brothers and his sisters and he asked his mom to buy him a guitar at nine years old. And he started playing uh, the guitar and he was playing with uh, this. This man started passing by selling a guitar. His mom buys it for him. He buys a, the, his mom buys him the guitar in payments. Mm -hmm. And um, then he they said, were super poor. So, yeah. So, so the, yeah. So the, the, the gentleman that played an accordion said that he, 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 he would play the guitar so good. Imagine that. Paulino, some people don't even know Paulino when I play the, the guitar. Uh, he would play the guitar so good that the man asked him, pues, uh, me lo, he asked his, his mom for permission to take him to the shows. He goes, hey, vente conmigo. Let's go to the show. So he takes Paulino Bernal. On the on the shows, and uh, the only money that Paulino would make was based on tips, and Paulino would make more than the guy getting paid. Th wow. This is a true story. This yeah. is based out of the mouth of Paulino Bernal. Anyways, long story short, uh, he he t shows his brother how to play the the, he, the the man lends him the accordion. His brother learns how to play the the guitar, uh, creating el conjunto Bernal. Mm -hmm. Paulino Bernal el conjunto Bernal. They get super famous. His very first show is in California. He plays in friends. Of, Hundreds and hundreds of people. Incredible. Yeah, and then, uh, but he falls into uh, la la borrachera. He falls into um, uh, siendo mujeriego. Eh? Yeah, and uh, I think they give him an, an ultimatum, right? You, you either leave music or. And he said, "You know what? I've got conjunto Bernal. He had opened up the very first restaurant here in McAllen. A lot of people don't know that. He opened, I didn't know that. He opened up the very first restaurant in McAllen in the mall, not in McAllen in uh -huh. the mall. He was the first one to open one up in the mall." Definitely an entrepreneur, that guy. Uh huh. And then one and a visionary. And then one day he went to uh, Reynosa. One day, one day, Paulino and I went to Reynosa to go have some some drinks. And he had already he had already had a record label. He had a restaurant. Bagel. And, uh huh. And and Paulino Bernal's uh, record label, you know, Paulino Bernal's record label had a uh, the conjunto Bernal because they were still out there playing but mm -hmm. without Paulino. So when he went to Reynosa, he was at a bar. And uh, some couple of teenagers came up to me and said, hey, can let's podemos tocar unas cuantas canciones? Y, claro que sí, you know. A ver, echas unas cuantas while he was drinking. I don't even think they knew that it was Paulino. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were they were drinking, and, and, and Paulino literally told them, pues eso lo pueden hacer todos. Están tocando canciones de los alegres de Terán. Eso, eso cualquiera lo pueden hacer. Ahora, si quieren llegar a lo más alto, dice Paulino, dice, tienen que tocar canciones originales. And one of the two Teenagers, el que estaba tocando la Josexta, dice, pues nosotros también tenemos canciones ori originales. Y goes, a ver. And Paulino sits back, goes, enséñame lo que traen. Y que empiezan. Ya no llores, mujer, ya no estés triste. Yeah. Porque vas a acabarte conmigo. Yeah. Therefore, Paulino discovers Ramón Ayala y Cornelio Reina. And he puts, uh, he gives them their very first record, record, uh, record deal. Mm -hmm. And they explode from there. And yeah. then uh, in the process of all this, he said uh, that his, uh, a guy by the name of uh, Fidencio, I believe Fidencio, it was a young guy that was a cook at his restaurant. He talked to him about, about God and talked to him about converting over to uh, playing uh, music for God. or just, Christianity. Just, mm -hmm. So Paulino, first his wife, and then it was him. And then he decided to get all of his family one day, like for Christmas. And his brother Eloy was kind of like didn't know whether to come in or not, and he said, "No, que ven hermano." Que by the time he knew it, he still continued with conjunto Bernal, but eventually he turned all of his family into the the Christian world, and therefore he he began his ministry. And it became a very lucrative, very huge, very huge ministry. Mm -hmm. So when I was a kid, I would have never heard his his music on the radio, you know, because I I had to take a really a long thought i had to have some long thoughts deep 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 thoughts because i'm not going to lie to you a lot of us musicians we used to always say and they're always constantly asking for money mm -hmm. they're always asking for money Th this is a thing that was being said I'm, I'm a very straightforward person i don't i'm not here to sugarcoat anything but then i, I stopped to think about it and i'm like man if, if they would have never asked uh for that money they wouldn't have had those I don't know how many stations, the radio stations they had. Yeah. And, and, th and this they, they reinvest to keep 
pushing the yeah, word and, of the and, Lord, you know. Yeah, and people don't realize the cost of a radio station, oh. an FM station. Just to get through all the red tape and bureaucracy, bro. So, you know what? I just, I put all my thoughts aside and, and, and all the negativity. I just thought to myself, you know what? I, 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 I remember when Ruben Vela passed away. And when Paulino spoke, I mean, it Pierce, it just, he had the charisma. Yeah. He had everything. And he played and he just had it and, and, and it would just touch your heart. And every time he would, he would speak, you were nothing but drawn to him, to anything that he was saying. So when he passed, right, um, I called his son, uh, Paulino Menard Jr. And uh, my, my, my friend, uh, my, I, 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 he's a pastor friend of mine, Danny Yanis. Saludos para él. It was just his birthday, so happy birthday. Dana. Yeah, happy birthday to... Accordion player. I didn't even know he played the accordion. Danny Yanez? He plays accordion? Stoka como Esteban Jordan. I have no idea. Maybe yeah. Are you sure we're talking about the same one? I think so. I mean, he's from Dana, Danny Yanez. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Danny. He used to... He, he loved Esteban Jordan, and he played, you know, practically almost like him, and nobody could play like Esteban, but he came it, pretty close. I don't think it's that one, but, but he calls me, tells me... So I, 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 I talked to Paulino Bernal Jr., and I tell him, hey, man, I just wanted to let you know that your father was a very important figure in my life. And I, I'm not talking about the music he did. And a lot of a lot of artists know him for the music over there. I grew up listening to his Christian music. And I go, I'm impacted by his loss. I go, I feel sad. I go, I'm, I'm, I'm a big part of me feels very, very sad. And let me tell you, if your dad wasn't around, Signo wouldn't be around. This kid wouldn't have been able to dream because we would play all of his coritos at church. And I could, and, and, and Paulino, Paulino Bernal Jr. was like sentimental, like, oh, mi hermano, he goes, gracias. And I could feel his sincere, his sincere, like, el gusto que le estaba dando escuchando de que I was reaching out to him and that I was letting him know it, he really meant this much to me. Mm -hmm. And then I said, whatever you need from me, if you need for me to sing at Paulino Bernal's uh, service, if you need for me to anything, all of the signals here for you. And then so uh, we end up taking off to, um, we played Friday, Saturday. Califas. And then Saturday morning, on Saturday morning, me and they say, Danny calls me, oh, brother, he goes, I just want to let you know that uh, uh, Paulino Bernal Jr. passed away. También. También. He passed away too. And I was like, what? What do you mean? That's crazy, bro. Bro, uh, it, it is crazy. I, I I talked to Javier Galvan, and Javier Galvan told me that. How is he doing, man? He's doing good. I'll come back to that Okay, right yeah. Now. So so Javier Galvan tells me, hey, man, uh, because he has a, uh, he knows everybody at that church. Because mm -hmm. he, he came from there. He may say, Javier, hey, man, they, they, they said that when, when he was, they were done cleaning the church, that he started saying, oh, man, he goes, my dad is so proud of us. I could, I could see my dad. I could see him. Hermanos, ahí está. And boom, he collapsed. I know, dude. Wow. I heard about that. That's crazy. Crazy story, bro. Yeah. So I was in Bakersfield, California, and I, and I told Jessica, hey, I don't care what it takes. I have to, I have to make my peace. And I have to go be at at, uh, at the funeral. Mm -hmm. Prior to this, I had programmed my mom's Alexa. And you guys put we a... We showed a yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, we showed we the video. Showed the video. I, 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 well, do you remember what I programmed on her Alexa? To... Uh, to uh, tosta Probably no. Pa, yeah. Yeah, but what, yeah. what was it playing? Um, you just said it. Yeah, it was Paulino. It was playing yeah. Paulino. Yeah. 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 yeah, like the day mm -hmm. before he passed. It was the weirdest thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So then uh, I'm flying back from Bakersfield and I'm just like, I haven't slept. We finished playing in Bakersfield. I went straight to L.A. And in, and in Los Angeles, you can't mess around there, bro. You have to be there two, three hours. Shh, I could imagine. You have to be there two, three hours. Is so everything really expensive in L.A., man, in California? I didn't get to spend that much time. I, it was like we landed. We went straight to, we, we man, some crazy shit happened. We get we get to L.A., right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, we, land, we landed in Burbank. And when we landed there, Jessica thought, man, we can get into the rooms. No, but we landed there at 10. We couldn't check in until 3. And somehow I go to the front, to the, to the front. I go, hi, hi there. Um, hey, listen, I go, I, I really, we don't really, we really don't want to be in the lobby. And I use my little lucky charm and that little charm. And he said, what's your name? And they said, I'm not going to say the name. She says the name. And I tell her, oh, that's my, my very first girlfriend's uh, name. It's a very beautiful name. I go, is there any way you can get us one room so we can all get in? She goes, let me see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. And, and no, they, but I mean, they. I mean, they see you in the lobby. They need. To, they need to figure yeah. it out. But no. Know? But the thing is that I hate it was, that. that right? Three o'clock. Yeah. Shit. The thing is that it was pack rock because somebody was calling right there, and then they were saying, "Can we get extend the?" No, she goes, "You got to get out now." Yeah. So oh, I get it. My goodness. Yeah. So, anyways, long story short, um, we go play in Bakersfield. Uh, we come back. I get a flight. I have no. I haven't slept. 
and I land in Houston, and I'm just trying to sleep on the plane. And when we when we land in Houston, I have a connecting flight. I go and I get something to eat. I come back, and then uh, I'm always the last one to get on the plane, and I like to sit in the very very back. Uh, and I'm actually I'm either the first one, but when I know the plane's not gonna be packed, I'm like, ah, oh, just wait. No tengo que pagar los extra 30, 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. Y si cae el plane, pues eres el último carnal, so yeah. you might survive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you never know. Uh -huh. So as I'm walking into the plane, pues ahí está Mondo from La Mafia, and I look at him and he looks at me and he's and like, this is in Houston, right? This is in Houston because yeah, I have a connecting you're flight. Connecting. Yeah, yeah. This flight's coming to Harlem. Uh huh. So I get on, <laughs> I get into. Well, this, look who's here. Look who's here. And he Mondo Listenberger. Jesse, he hey, how are you? And I'm like, hey, how are you doing, Mondo? Good to see you. How did he look, man? Was he cool or what? Uh, oh, bro, he's, he's, he, man. He looks like a kid sometimes, right? I mean, he just he looks, looks so like, young, right? He just looks like somebody you want to hug. Yeah. Like, he's such a sweet, gen genuine person. A very knowledgeable person as hey. well. Man, he told me some crazy stories. I wish I could interview him, bro. I've, I've asked him one time <laughs> to, to come on in and find so, out about his, so you then, know, he's from Alice, Texas and stuff mm, like he that. He told me that. He told me a lot of things, right? Some of these things are going uh, to the grave with me. Um, so uh, he goes, I go, it's just you? He goes, no, He goes, I got the Oscar. And I looked to the side and Oscar's like, this on the, that plane hasn't even take, taken off. And I told, I called Oscar, say, hey, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell everybody what, what I saw. Now Oscar said, uh, <laughs> crashed out. <laughs> man, and had then, a long night. Aww. And then I look at, oh, it's 3 o'clock. Uh, no, 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 it's like, it's like 11 or 12. He le digo a Mando, Mando, you tell Oscar when he wakes up. That he's that his age is starting to show now for real because that plane hasn't even taken off. And he's already <laughs> asleep. Yeah, <laughs> está miedo. So, we, anyways, the plane takes off, lands, and uh, was they were sitting in the very front. I was sitting in the very back, and I'm like, ah, ya se fueron. No, bro, they were waiting for me. So I get off, and Oscar goes, "What'd you say?" <laughs> <laughs> Oscar oh me goes, "What'd you say?" I go, "Hey, cabrón." I go, "Yeah, you're showing your age, bro." I go, "That ta was, that was." He goes, "Hey, man," I goes, "I had a long night." And I'm like, well, I go, pues, hey, man, if y'all need to stay at my house, whatever you guys need. And he goes, how are you going to get home? I said, well, I'm going to get an Uber. He goes, no, man, we'll give you a ride. They had rented a car. So sí. I go and we get in the car. And then we start talking about Paulino. And we start talking just long, good conversations. They went to my house. We were there talking for about, even though I hadn't slept, the fact that they were in my house, mm -hmm. um, I, 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 it re-energized you. Yeah, bro. I, I, we spoke for about an hour. And it's like you never. It's not every day you have a moment. He told. He know? told me some crazy stories of, of Paulino Bernal, of, of like the recording, mm -hmm. of the making of the of the album of his last album was recorded by by Mondo. Yeah, and I love that album. So I, then, I uh, love it. It's amazing. So then we went to the we went to the we went to the service right, and uh, it was at night. I, I must have slept like about forty minutes. In those forty minutes, man, I had una pesadilla. I would never forget. It. I woke up real feeling real depressed, and I got up and. I came to the service and everybody was there and then we were just in the middle of the service and I'm like, is everybody ready? We took off, went to go eat and that's when uh, we met up with Lalo, Eli de Reina and uh, Javier Galvan mm -hmm. and that's when I, well, I already knew, I already knew how Javier Galvan was doing. He's doing okay. He had broken, I think he said like 21 uh, parts of his body on the, on his left foot yeah, and like 72 on his right. Yeah. And, wow. uh, but he, he said he can, he can jog now. He good. Goes, it hurts him, and but he looked really, really good, and I was really, really happy to see him. We were, we all sat down. It was me, Javier Galvan, Oscar, Mando, Elida, and we were all just we we're just, we were just having a late dinner. What freaked me out is Javier. I think we were like the last podcast he came on mm -hmm. uh, before that accident. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if he was on any other uh, podcast or anything. But yeah, he he was doing the something coffee. Okay. Uh, it was like a, but it, it, it's a religious, uh, mm -hmm. it's like a Christian show. Orale. Uh, well, we had a good interview about Fama and all that. Oh, yeah, man. No, Javier, Javier es un, un alma de Dios. Like, mm -hmm. Javier es una, un alma de Dios. So the next day, uh, va a predicar Danny. Danny Yanis, right? Yeah. And I, and by the way, Danny Yanis from Donna, who was like a Steve Jordan, he turned Christian. Man, there's no way that's... Yeah, he, someone on the chat was saying that you might be talking about... No, it's Danny Yanez. I, no, I, no, no, you're wrong. I'm pretty sure it's him. No, Jesse Yanez. No, no. Someone no. said. Someone said. Um, Jesse Yanez yeah. is who Rock is probably. No, no. About. I remember Danny Yanez. I okay. remember, and he had albums out. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I had one of his albums, and uh, you know, he's on like top of a car with an accordion, mm -hmm. and uh, he was playing. Is that him? I haven't seen him in shh, like 30 years. You know bro. what? Let's call him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe he doesn't want to talk about his past, bro. I just want to know if he plays a Well, oh, actually, their past is... <laughs> Hold on. He's from Donna? Yes. Hello? Danny, I'm on the Rock and Roll James on, on hashtag PVT. I have a question for you. Do you play yes, the sir. accordion? My dad did. Not you. Oh. No, my dad was my dad was master was a master accordion player. I play keyboards. Yeah. I, I, I do productions and recordings. Yeah. ¿Y por qué no me habías dicho? dicho? So then he's Danny's son. No te había dicho. Yeah. No. I, play, I play keyboards. That's my main instrument. Tell him I said his dad was a damn good accordion Rock and Roll player. James says that your dad was a very a very good accordion player. Oh, yeah, he was. Ah, gracias. Uh, Ándale, Danny. Oye, pues un fuerte abrazo. Ya te, ya te saludé aquí. Dije happy birthday. <laughs> Saludos, Saludos, Rock and Roll James. Un saludo, ah, Danny. Órale, Stone. Okay, que mires. Órale. So, anyways, I, I was. So, so it's his so son. It's senior. He's a pastor. So, senior. You're talking yeah. about Danny Yanez, senior. senior, Omar Vasquez yeah. says. Yeah, Danny. Mm -hmm. Danny. Uh, well, that's because he didn't say senior or junior. So, I, I didn't know. So, so I said, él va a predicar en la mañana. We got to go. I told Oscar, I told Oscar, mom, hey, let's go in the morning. Right? So, we show up in the morning. And we finally get to the, the burial the Paulino Bernal and Paulino Bernal Jr. And the strangest thing happened, the, the weirdest and strangest things always happen to me. But I always say, thank you, God. Thank you, because I'll never be. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm at the service, right? And um, Oscar's with me. I brought Oscar. We, we, we went to the church first, and then he jumps in the truck, and we're just talking mm -hmm. about the industry, about... You How know, it's changed, man, yeah, man, compared we're, to the 90s. We're just talking about so much, and I'm... I'm, and I'm Every time I have a chance, I tell people, I, I let them know how much I love them. And I, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a positive way. And I, I was letting them know, hey, man, I remember when, because of you, when you guys would come to the, the roadhouse in San Benito and you guys would put up all the lights and everything. Yeah, I go, bro. because of you, like, we do the same today. Like, he, goes, he goes, yeah, well. The evolution of their music mm -hmm. is They've, something that's extraordinary. Yeah, and we From had the very first to like the nineties, the way it changed internationally, and we, and, stuff. and we had some deep, deep, deep thoughts, and some again, some of the a big part of that conversation will go with me to, to my grave. But we get to the service, right, and we walk in, and we, and then the the, the service is already packed, bro. Like the 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 bodies are, uh, I mean, the coffins are already on top, and me and him are, are in the back, and and I'm trying, pues yo estoy chaparrito, bro, and I'm, I'm like this, and the family's over here, and I'm trying to. To, to look. Get a glimpse. And Oscar's just like, well, he's really calm. He, he's, he's, I, I want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the, my, I want to hear the Pastor Danny. I want to hear him. I want to see it. So then, while I was going like that, I guess somebody saw me. Y me agarran de la mano. Like, they pulled my hand. Uh -huh. And I grab, and I grab Oscar. I go, Oscar, come on, come on. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I look, and we're next to the family. Like, the family's right here, and we're, me and Oscar, like, literally right next to the, to the family. It's the, wow. the, the Bernal family. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't even see who had grabbed me. I just, yo sentí que nomás era una señora. And I just, uh, and, and I mean it with, with all the love and respect. I, I, I didn't look. I just felt somebody grab me. And then I'm standing there, right? So then, uh, towards the end of the service, right, um, I say, hey, uh, Oscar, I go, take a picture of me. Because uh, I want to I wanna be able to have this, you know, forever. He goes, yeah, he goes go, go ahead. So I'm only... <laughs> I'm only allowed to show you from here. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't want to lay the, the 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 picture on us because he doesn't he doesn't no because I haven't get, I haven't doesn't asked, wanted to get around you know no no this this it's que estaba, it's gonna, this is going on my wall in my living room I would frame that picture uh, hell yeah, I, I would, would frame that. <laughs> I'm looking for give me tiene that. como three million pictures in el teléfono este I do bro <laughs> you have no idea <laughs> tiene two terabytes uh, that back up yeah. Where is it? <laughs> hey, let's go to chat. Chaz, ladies and gentlemen, uh, while yeah, you do we that. look for the picture. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we want to go to the chat. Chaz's chat I found zone. It. Oh, okay. I found it. I found it. I found it. So I don't want to mess with my story. So then I go, hey, Oscar, take a picture of me. And he takes a picture of me, right? Mm -hmm. It's the only way I can show you. Yeah. Man, you guys are good. <laughs> you guys are good. Uh -huh. Put it closer. Nah, hell no. This is as close as But that's make. just you. Yeah. So anyway. It's just so, a picture of you. Yeah, that, this is me. And so then, uh, so then I'm, 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 I goes, take a picture of me, Oscar. And, uh, and, and then I, and then I go, Oscar, you want a picture? He goes, you want to take a picture? He goes, yeah, let me get in. So he comes and he gets, he gets next to me. And then, uh, and somebody grabbed my phone. He goes, I'll take the picture. He goes, and, and he's going to get in too. And then we, we both looked and we said, holy cow, like Joe Lopez is right next to us. So I must be one of the only persons alive. One of the only that people. That has... Oscar and, and Joe in the same picture. 
I'll show you real quick. You ready? Yeah. There it is. Oh, my. So what were the chances of that? Those guys wow. were rivals in the 90s, dude. I don't know anything Early about 90s, that. Though. I don't know anything about that. But there, I mean, Joe was super happy. Yeah. And Oscar was happy. Uh, and oh. I said, wow. I said, what what just happened? And then and then I, I tell everybody, I, I don't know about this rival thing. You're, you're, you're the one that knows. Well, back I don't know. in the day, I mean, it was like, they, 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 there was like bad blood between La Mafia and Maz. Yeah. Why Jimmy must and be- Joe. And that's, you know, that's what they would say. I never saw it personally. Mm-hmm. But uh, whenever they played together, and you know, back in the day, you know, they would cheat out the lights on somebody or fuck up the sound and shit like that. Oh I, my. I, you know, I don't know if that happened on there, but that was the well, some, that words, was a word that was going so around. When, when I when I when I showed a few of my friends, I showed them, look at this picture. Oh my god, you you have an iconic photo right <laughs> yes, there, that's bro. Epic. You, go, you have uh-huh. an iconic photo, man. You gotta you gotta make it large and put it on your living room. Or you gotta do something with it. So I was just like, you know. I was just, I was just happy, generally happy. Yeah, we went back to my, uh, we went back to my house, and uh, before Mondo and 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 Oscar took off, uh, we started. Me, me and Oscar started. Uh, me and uh, Mondo started jamming. Yo el bajo sexto. Uh huh. And and Mondo was just like he was playing the. We chord. have video of that. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, but wait, wait, before before you do right. So that we're sitting there, and I go, "What's up, Mondo?" I go, "You want to do uh, un día a la vez?" And he goes, well, I mean, because he's real shy, bro. He's super shy. Yeah. And it's like if he doesn't rehearse something or if he doesn't know something at his full He's going to live to be 150, dude. I, I believe it. <laughs> and then he goes, I go, you ready? So when you see this video, he goes, he goes you, I, I tell him, you're ready? He goes, I'm not ready, but let's go. So we did a small tribute uh, video to Paulino Bernal, and this is it. Let's check it out. Por mucho cariño para la familia Bernal. Uh, Paulino Bernal, una persona que tanto queremos, adoramos, un gran amigo, un gran músico. Aquí nomás estamos en la casa recordando bonitos recuerdos y esta canción es una de nuestras favoritas. Yo no estoy listo. No estoy listo. <risa> Ended up happening, Rock. That's classic, bro. That ha- that happened. To- Can you believe that he was? I mean, you know who's reco- you know who recorded that video? Who did? Oscar. Oscar was the one. Oscar was my cameraman. Man, that was great, man. <laughs> I'm was glad. Awesome. I'm glad you guys got to spend some time together. So then I took him to the airport, mm-hmm. and they say, "Hey, you're gonna be here next week." 
Uh, I go, where are you guys going to play? Gonna, we're going to play in San Benito. I go, no, I'm going to San Luis. I'm going to be going to San Luis Potosí. Yeah. My mom doesn't know yet, but I'm going to get some flights. Because uh-huh. they, uh, they ended up canceling a, a whole weekend. And you were just going to go over there to... No, 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 wait. We had a, we had, we had a, a weekend with Bronco. Okay. And the weekend got canceled. Okay. So I said, you know what? Voy a aprovechar because on the 25th of September, it's going to be my grandma's birthday. Mm-hmm. She was going to turn 104. And, uh, That's I said, incredible, dude. 104? Wow. So we, 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 we're going to leave from a different airport. We're not going to leave from, from the valley. So we're leaving in my car. I go pick up my mom early that Thursday because we want to get there early. And uh, trying to get our flights. Decía mi papá, el que tiempo agarra, tiempo le sobra. At the checkpoint, uh, going through Rivera, mm-hmm. as soon as you get out of checkpoint, there's this giant hole that you just can't avoid. And I hit that hole, and it completely popped my tire. Oh, oh, no. Completely. Oh. Completely. Is it one of those $500 tires? Yes, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, I try, was going to say, I'm sure try, it was more. Try 900 and, <laughs> no, like $1,200. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh so I'm like, and then I get off the car, and my mom goes, ¿Qué pasó, muchacho? And I said, Mom, I go, I go, damn. Yeah, tenía rato que no hacía change a tire. Uh oh. <laughs> that sucks, bro. <laughs> so, so the thing is that with. And then figuring out how to get the no, damn thing I'm out, right? So, so, yeah. No, no, no. And, it, and I've done it before. It's not rocket science, right? But I go back, el yaquecito, like about this big, this big. And then you have to put this thing and turn it, take it out, put it in, turn it. Yeah, yes, you see. And then my mom gets off the bro. My my mom gets off the car <laughs> past the checkpoint. Right, we just literally passed the checkpoint. My mom gets off the car and she's like this, and I and I, and I go like this. Mom, ¿qué estás haciendo? Pues dijo dijo tu hermana que me bajara a ver si alguien te ayuda. Le dije, mom, métete al carro, mom. <laughs> Le dije, mom. Le hubieras dicho, necesitas enseñar más rodilla, mom. <laughs> Stop it. Pues le dije, mom, súbete al carro, mom. Así que pues, de, ya sé, pues de repente me ven a mí y dicen, déjame le ayudo a esa señora. Yeah, le, dije, mom, le, dije, le dije, mom, yo lo hago, ma. And I started, boom, I started going. And I was hurting from my back, bro. I was hurting oh, from no. my back. Ma, go ahead and stand there. And Wait, <laughs> no. we take off. To make a short story long, we get to the airport. No. Okay, we, we had made it in time. Pero, unfortunately, my mom, my mom just does some things that, I can't ask why. Well, we just, got some video of that too, don't we? No, no, we? not yet, not yet. Oh, okay, all right. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not there yet. We get, <laughs> we, we get, we get, to, we get to the, we get, we get to the. He's air- a producer as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get like to the show. Wait, yeah, no. wait, Rock. We get to the airport, <laughs> and we lose our flights. Oh no! We completely lose our flights, Dad. and they said no because of your mom's. She's got two names. She's got her married name, and then she's got her uh, su nombre mexicano, or that. So because of that passport situation. I lost all my flights. Oh, Ida y venida, Rock. No. So then I'm, I'm like this, uh-uh. and, I, and I'm looking at my mom, and I'm like, I look at flights. I start looking at flights to see how much they cost. Bro, they were like 2500 Jesus three, three, three Christ. Grand, three, three grand for a round trip. From from here to, or from, it was from here from McAllen or where? There was no flights that day coming from McAllen. No. It's only Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, so then I'm like, I'm like, Mom, and I look at her and I go, ¿Te quieres ir en un autobús? I said, you want to? And I'm looking at it. And he said, 14 hours. Damn. Y le, y, y, y le digo, mi mamá, ¿Te quieres ir en un autobús? Y me dice, sí. And I'm like, oh, I thought she was going to say no. Because she knows I have back problems. No, me dice, sí. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, let me get the next, let me book the next uh, bus trip. Which, by the way, was the worst bus trip ever all the bus ride? trips are oh no oh my god bro. <laughs> any bus you go on it's gonna be a little bit uh uncomfortable. no bro this was horrible we take off we finally get to the checkpoint and jesus man you, un scheme yeah bro te hacen que pagues el pasaporte okay for six months and then es una tranza es una tranza and then, yeah Porque lo estás pagando. Scheme. So that's how you say tranza in Spanish. I in mean, English, in English. Yes, sir. Scheme. Uh-huh. Scheme. Oye, pagas, uh-huh. pagas ahí, pagas ahí. Y, 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 I, I, I paid cash. Where, like, on that side or this side? On that side. Oh, okay. And we're, we're there. I was so tripping out, bro, because there's so many people there that don't have a voice. 
Y yo soy, yo soy bien cabrón. Digo, I, mean, yeah. I get off and nobody knows who I am and I'm not, I don't, I don't care, right? But I'm, I'm looking at how people are being treated and I'm like, and it's just you're looking, I'm like, something doesn't feel right here. Me cobraron el pasaporte. Y con eso te digo todo. When I was coming back, uh, coming out of San Luis, I'm forwarding, I'm going to forward a bit. When we were going to fly, because I, I ended up buying the flights because I said I will not go back in the bus. Uh, I stopped in, <laughs> uh, at the airport. Me dicen. Which airport? In San Luis. Okay. So this is why I'm telling you it's a scheme. Yeah, yeah. Me dicen en San Luis. ¿No has pagado tu pasaporte? Oh, you had already done that. Ya lo había pagado. ¿No has pagado tu pasaporte? Tienes que pagar. Y ya lo pagué. And first of all, he told me I had I, there was no more six day, seven day passes. La puro pedo, bro. So man, wow. I, I I said, you know what? Yeah. I better just shut the hell up. Everybody's porque. trying to get a buck out mm -hmm. there. I said, you know what? I better just shut up porque de rato van a parar el autobús. Van a decir, a ver, ¿quién es el que está ahí? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I said, man, I just better shut up. Ven so, a tocar unas polquitas acá en el rancho, mijito. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, anyway, so we we take off. That's scary stuff, bro. It I mean, is, bro. I don't know, man. It is, bro. And then the, there's no there's no uh, control, like and you then, said. And then the bus company said that there's Wi-Fi. No había Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And your data was it working over there? No, no, I didn't want to use it because if 10, 10 gigabytes go like this, yeah, and then everything slows down, and I need it in case yeah. of an emergency. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the restroom door was what, 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 what. And then the bus apparently had, it had it's it's an air uh, uh -huh. uh, shocks shocks. Nambre bro, parecía me sentía como un I don't know. I don't know. Like a like a, <laughs> como un frijol seco arriba de una tostada. Yeah. Was, was it, it, oh man, my my yeah. venía así con el ibuprofen. I was like all the way. Fourteen oh, hours. No. Yeah. Venía como tú, tú con los gummies y yo acá con los estos ibuprofen así. Oh, 14 no. horas, carnal. And then, but can't. you know what, bro? In the middle, of, in the middle of all that, I looked at my mom. I kid you not. I wish. I, give me this right here. Careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it, throw it. Uy. Oh, se te salió todo, hey, hey, hey. He looked at the camera right away. Oh, did he didn't see the inside of the content? Or the content inside. Okay. So I, I look to the side because I'm like thinking to myself, man, my back. It, 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 like, I'm dying here. Hey, Lo, I look to the side like this because my mom's sitting by herself. With her purse. <laughs> Being proper. <laughs> her mom's like this. Now taking care of it. And she's like, just like this. And I'm like, mom. She was probably scared, bro. No, this is, bro, this is already uh, us getting to San Luis. I go, Mom, ¿no estás cansada? Sí. <laughs> and I go, y, ¿no estás cansada? No ha dormido nada. And I'm like, pero tú nomás quieres llegar a ver a mi abuelita. She goes, sí. So finally, bro, the bus ride is over. And I said, you know what, I have to record this. So I grab the camera and I turn on my cell, my cell phone camera and I, I make this video right here. Put it on, bitch. This is after that bus ride. Orale. ¿Estás feliz, amigo? Perdimos nuestro vuelo el día de ayer. Ya estuviéramos aquí desde ayer, pero no podíamos perder el cumpleaños de mi abuelita. ¿Cuántos lo cumplieron? 104. ¿Eh? 104. 104. ¿Sí dice 104 o 104? ¿Cómo quieres? ¿Cómo quieres? Oigan, que no quiero venir en un autobús, no vuelvo a venir en un autobús porque qué viaje tan largo, especialmente ahí en la, ¿cómo se llama ahí? ¿La, la aduana? Unas cuatro horas ahí nomás. Ya llegamos, eso es lo importante. Tengo la cara de fastidiado, bro. I could look, tell, bro. We're waiting, for, we're, 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 waiting for, we're waiting for an Uber because our family does not know we're going. Uh huh. So then we finally, the the, like maybe I don't know if it was last year, or the year before when we went. My grandma did not recognize my mom. So finally we get there, and right away my grandma, she knew who my mom was. She knew who I was. We celebrated her birthday. It was a she was a she turned 104 years old. And she's your mom's mom. She's my mom's mother. Vale. And my mom loves her to death. Like my like todo all the todo lo donde venía cansado. Like 
all that went away, bro. The minute I saw my mom happy, that was my heaven. Heaven is making people happy. And heaven was watching my mom see her mom at 104 years old. So when mm -hmm. she walks in, this is her whole celebration. This is her whole, like, these are just clips of what you're going to see of my mom's, of my mom's, my grandma's birthday party. This is her, this is my mom arriving and my grandma's going to say, ay, mija chula. And then this is, this is us celebrating my, my grandma's birthday. She turned 104. Let's check it out. <laughs> would have gone 14 hours on a bus to I get there too. bro it's all worth it <laughs> hell yeah bro it's wow. a, i'm telling you it was all very well worth it man and hey we appreciate you sharing your memories with us here man, uh, on bro the show. my mom is everybody's mom like those people that don't have a mom or don't have a grandma i share them uh, on, on my on my social media so you know so you can remember your mom and your grandma mm -hmm. and that's my connection with a lot of people on on social uh, media i can say i can see that it connects to me you know yeah. I, I love it uh so let's go to the chat zone man we've got a lot of people watching live right now and uh this is brought to you by joe's master service proudly serving the local edinburgh area uh for 50 years he understands getting your car fixed and uh, buying new tires can be overwhelming, but you know what? With Joe, no vas a batallar. Vas a llegar allí y él te va a ayudar, and he's going to be the one that you're going to talk to because Joe, that's his shop, and he's there all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, they even do their lunch hour there, man, him and the crew, man. So go by, and if you need Freon on your car, you need to change the oil, you need to um, you know, get uh, some air uh, on your tires, or you need a rotation. I mean, this guy can't... Um, <laughs> Jesse's trying to show me something. I can't see it, bro. Oh, right out, right out. <laughs> oh, sorry. In the but middle. Joe, yeah, Joe, Joe's Master uh, Service uh, Center. Yeah. Call 956 383 1882. Wow, that's good eyesight, whatever, man. Whatever you need, lo que necesiten. Te lo recomiendo hey. sus amigos del grupo Signo, el Rock and Roll James. He said it, oh, wow. he said it real slow, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that was pretty good. Just because I need my glasses, cabrón. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's over here showing me a phone while I'm doing this, and like, look, look, ira, ira, ira. I'm like, dude. Hey, <laughs> look. Oh my god. So, so can it wait, son? <laughs> Assist them at one time. Oh my god! All right, so uh, yeah, if you want to get an oil change and you hate waiting around because when you get to a place that changes your oil, you get there. Yeah, and you hate, don't. You don't like that. No, go to joesmaster dot com and make your appointment. And that way, if you say you know Friday at ten, Monday at four, whatever time you get there, Joe's waiting for you. Mm -hmm. You're in and out. Nobody's in front of you. Nobody's behind you. And it's joesmaster dot com. That is where you can know, get that done. So, Chad, I'm sure you've been you've been pretty busy tonight, man. I've been looking at you. Well, you know, usually the chat zone, it's uh, it's always at a good uh, amount, but tonight we're getting close to 500. Woo! We've been 440, 450, 460. Right now it's 482, so Woo! there's a lot of people coming in and out, and a lot of people from all over the country 
Shout out to Ramiro Maldonado from Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. Memphis. Home of Elvis, Elvis and uh, Jerry the King Lawler. Have you seen the new Elvis movie? I did, man. It was. I thought it was really, really good. Uh, you know, the first time I saw it, I was like, eh, it's all right. I didn't like the, it's like the Great Gatsby, like the style it, of the, the Great style, Gatsby. So you're thinking of the style. So, yeah. it, it, so it, it turns into like kind of like a, a little fakey to me. A little too visual. But then I, I was watching TV and I was going through the, the movie channels and yeah. I landed on it and it was like halfway through almost or a little bit before that yeah. It's a long movie, and I was like, "Wow!" It was. It, then I got into it, so I want to see the whole thing, man. I didn't realize how much the the colonel had been like playing him, dude. He played him the whole time. Right? I yeah. love the part where um, have you seen it, Jesse? Yes, the part where he, you know, he's supposed to do a Christmas special. And oh he, yeah, he and shows he up does, in leather. He gets yeah. those Hollywood producers, those hip dudes, to get him. It's going. supposed to be very like family friendly. Here's my opinion on that movie. I think it's a great movie, but I'm gonna have to go with what all the critics were saying that that the Colonel sounded like the Colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Man, it, it, it just yeah, I mean, lame. Well, like, he he's he's from Denmark, right? Originally, yeah, he's, or he's like originally that. from an, yeah another country. But yeah. he didn't. He, he didn't. That. I don't know. He sounded. Too fakey for you, like yeah, too it sounded, sounded too. Uh, I don't know, like too anno- gimmicky, annoying, yeah. too gimmicky. Man. But that was the whole idea of, of the Colonel. He was a, from a circus. He's a, he, he was. It was he, gimmicky. It's all was, gimmick. I was he, the snowflake. The snowflake. Yeah, man. he was a living gimmick because yeah. uh, he all he did was carnivals, and it's all about the gimmick. Hey, it's the world's fattest man. It's the bearded lady. Mm-hmm. He lived gimmicks. Yeah, yeah. So he was kind of cheesy. He but, was. but I like it when he's sweating bullets during that Christmas show. Where is the song? I got Craig, the Santa uh, yeah. Claus is coming. To the town right, yeah. and then the people Santa from the Claus? from singer right like where's the sweater he's supposed to be wearing and <laughs> the, the <laughs> colonel <laughs> bro i'll yeah. tell you what the guy that acted do you know his name the actor that, that no, did Pre- I don't. elvis presley no. i thought he did an amazing job yeah, bro. he looked good and man. he sang all the parts he sang the he parts, sang, bro he, he sang he over really? and over he got he, it down that's not elvis singing that's him singing oh, wow. the only time that elvis sang was at the end of the show when they they go from uh the credits yeah no 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 when when they show the the last piece of the movie and it's ac- it's the actual Elvis doing his last performance. So it's him singing in front of the Elvis neon that yeah. big tall like, yeah. I mean, yeah. he's he, getting into it. He, yeah, he got into it. In fact, yeah. after the filming, he was hospitalized. He was burnt out because he, he gave his all physically. Yeah, and he, he you know he got he was oh. hospitalized. How Just, long is that movie? It's about three hours. Two hours, right? two hours and a couple yeah. minutes. I don't know, but it's it I goes by quickly. It. Anyways, I, I, I want to I want to send a big hello to all the guys. They're already headed to Nebraska. They're watching on the bus. Orale, todo all the guys, todos todos los de signo. Really? Saludos para Chato, para Ruben, para Richard, Jessica, uh, Juanito. Man, I better not forget some Checo, George, all the crew. Que ya van en camino para Nebraska. They're going wow. to Nebraska. Who's uh, cut the smelliest fart in the bus, man? Out of all those guys. Mm. Right now, a serious question. Right, right now, Chato, Chato, man, that guy, the drummer. Everything. He's a living can't escape. Yeah. Well, you know what? Can't escape in the bus. Everything. Living napalm. Do, do you know what his? Do you know what his nickname is? Yeah. Eh, panza de coyote. Panza de oh coyote. my god. <laughs> Because he eats anything? No, tiene una pinche panza de coyote. El vato no le pasa nada. Oh he God. does the one chip challenge and he eats all this. He don't eat anything. Like, he'll try anything. He doesn't care. And on a bus, you can't escape the fart. No. You, uh, you, it's you, like a, uh, a Dutch oven. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's you're a, trapped. Yes, yeah. You're trapped. It's, it's, a, it rock. It used to be it's a Dutch submarine. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it used to be worse back in the days for us. Yeah. Yeah. With the van? Oh, when we had the, the van. The van that you used to hit my car? Yes. <laughs> Every time I see a van like that, I take a picture and I send so this it is, in. So this is this is a real true story that I've never shared on any social media platform. Well, hold on to that because we were with the fans over here. We got to oh, yeah, give yeah, them sorry, a Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, hold yeah. on so a second. So let, let's finish off the shout outs because a lot of people uh, yeah. across the country. Yes. And right now we're at uh, 465. All right, so we did say a uh, shout out to Ramiro Maldonado from Memphis. And that's how we got on the topic of Elvis. Yeah. Right? <laughs> And then, Jesse, I don't know if you know, La Familia Producers de San Antonio, they said to give you a big shout out. Dale saludos para ellos. Okay. And then uh, from McMinn, this sounds like a made up town. McMinnville? McMinnville, Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, McMinn- McMinn- we have family out there. We got family up there. We yeah. Do. So they, they, is the last name Flores, by the way? They, they, I just saw the, the, no. the, the town. Oh, the town. But they were saying, like, hey, shout out to people. Saludito family. para la tía también. Uh, este, my tía Goya. La tía Goya y mi, y mis primos, <laughs> los, los, los la familia <laughs> Flores allá en Oregon. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, Andrew Castillo from Fort Stockton, Texas. Orale. And then here's a town I've never heard of. 
Lewiston, Florida. Lewiston, Florida, fíjate. And then shout out to Sergio Pesina from Dallas. So shout out to everybody in the PVT chat zone. And Lisa R, dedicated chatter, was saying, are we going to see Jesse sing tonight? Woo! Yeah. I she, hope so. That's what she's asking. <laughs> I'm excited. He actually brought a guitar. So I did, I did. I'm going to do something. Like the honky tonk man. You, you're going to have to wait because I'm not done with my stories. <laughs> As a matter of fact, wait. We have a brand new single. Mm -hmm. So you can start pre-saving it in case if you have, for those folks that are going to sleep early, uh, pre-save it on iTunes and Spotify, on all your digital platforms. And just all you got to do is pre-save. It comes out tonight at midnight. Uh, we have a brand new song single called No De Villa Mar. And everybody do it. Do it, and, and it'll shoot up in the charts. Yeah, like it, I mean, it, the, I mean, I want to see Jesse's song in the top five. I want to see it go to number one. Yeah, we, we've done it a few times already. So We're number one. If if tonight you're watching this, but we'll get to the song later. I promise you, I'm gonna sing it. I have my my pick here. I have the guitar. Well, can we can we get a little taste of it, or I mean, or do you want to wait? In a little bit, yeah, in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have a clip of the song. So. We, can, we can put a small clip of the song. Well, let's let's do it in a little bit, all right? Okay. Well, hang you tight. have to wait. Because he's talking about the... the I'm talking know, about... Tra traveling on the road. The, and farting. How the, the van was worse than the bus or something right. like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is... This is okay, have you, ever, have, you ever, have you ever heard of Sino Adventures? I remember something like that. Okay, we... Uh, that came from Pantera. It was our very first thing that we started talking about today. Yeah. So I said, you know what? We need to create something like this because... There was something always funny going on in the bus. I mean, uh, going on in the, the, in, the, in the van. There was always something funny going on. In the, we didn't have a bus here. We had a van. And, and you uh, had to keep yourselves entertained on the road. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we had one rule on the bus. I'm sorry. I keep saying bus. We were in the van. We are in the van. Van. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was one rule that we had since the very beginning, and that is when someone's asleep, you let that person sleep and you cannot mess with them. And if you mess with them and you do something to wake them up and piss them off, aguanta. Mm -mm. Uh, if he says, Todos te vamos a agarrar a, te vamos a meter una chinga, you're going to get it. If you get kicked in the in the private area, you have to take it. And there's no turning back. So everybody respected that that rule. Except for one guy. Uh oh. So one time we were in a van and we were headed to Houston. And we had this big white boy named Joseph Scott. And he used to play the bass. Un güero, ¿te acuerdas? Sí. Y bueno, ¿Era de la feria? No, no, no. He lives in la feria now. Or he lives somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know who he is. Yeah. He's Joseph, a big guy. Joseph Scott. His brother in the original album was Richard Scott. And uh, we're headed to go play with El Poder del Norte. And uh, I'm in the bus and I'm laying. I, I always sit in the second seat and I'm saying, I don't know why I would take a sabanas. The bus or the van? The van. Okay. I'm in the second seat of the van and I was covered. I don't know why, porque me gustaba ir con una sabana. Like the, the the very thin one, uh -huh. mm -hmm. not the not not a real blanket, but the thin one. Yes. But you could see everything, so I'm like this, and I was like, I wake up and I could hear everybody laughing, like no no that you can't believe it. Todos venían checo y risi risi, and I'm like, and I just look like this, and I'm like, what the what what the hell is that man? And I look up through the through the through the. Pues no pusieron las pinches nalgas de aquel vato. They were right here on my, on my face. <laughs> oh, no. And then I said, Nálgame Dios. And then I said, Nálgame Dios. And I said, and I said, please, tell me you're not. Sure enough, bro. Se movió la sabana. Oh, shit. <laughs> Pero te ayudó la sabana? No, bro. You see, you, see this, you see this face that I just made? That's the face that I had. Oh. No. ¿A qué olía, carnal? Bro, uh, no sé, como carne, ¿Pollo? carne ¿Pollo? guisada, como carne guisada pudrido. No poultry, no, no, bro, it's, it's <laughs> nasty, bro, but, <laughs> so, bro, so he thought I wasn't going to wake up, I get up, and it was like, le di la cara de, like, me la vas a pagar, güey, acuérdate la regla que teníamos, and I was, I was trying to be a leader, bro, uh -huh. so we stop in refugio. A ruthless leader. <laughs> yeah. So we stop in, we stop in refugio, we stop in refugio, and we all get off. And I go get a, a Yahoo. Which is a chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. I get a Yahoo. And Yoo -hoo. I, Yoo -hoo, sorry. Oh, Yoohoo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a Yoohoo, you whatever Yahoo. Yeah. Yeah. Now, first, of all, first of all, I don't even drink Yahoo or whatever it's called. Yoohoo. Yoo -hoo. Yoo I don't drink Yoohoo. I don't drink Yoo hey, he said Yahoo, but I still knew it was chocolate. So <laughs> yeah. At least off to you. Me entendiste, no? Yeah. You should have said that. So then. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> So then I go to the restroom and I buy it. And I go to the restroom and I buy a, 
I buy a, a, a pack of uh, of laxatives, two packs. Oh, shit. And I crush them all. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> put them in a microwave, and then I pour it into the Yoo-Hoo, and then I, and I cover it. And, I, and I, when I tell you there was a lot, it was like two packs, two packs. And then Checo was like, man, don't do it, bro, kid. Don't do it, man. He, he, everybody knew except for, for Joseph. And I said, he's gonna be, he's got, he has to pay for what he did. <laughs> he will pay. He, he has to pay for what the he price. did. So then I knew, bro, tenía una maña, Joseph, that if, it, no matter what it was, bro, it could be like five chips left. If I went like this. Anybody want this? He always sat behind me, and he, he would just see his big hand come in. <laughs> yeah, he see yeah. He would say, who wants this beef jerk? Whom se lo lleva? Like, no matter what you had, that guy would take it, bro. <laughs> so I literally poured some, a little bit of... of who you know, wants the you? And I go, man, I go, no, no. I go, no me gusta. No me gusta. Who wants it? Oh, okay, he grabs it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, he, start, he starts drinking it, bro. I don't know this, yo. And I thought, I don't know why, because I had seen movies like where you drink it that automatically te pega. Mm-hmm. It was no, no. Como Dumb and Dumber. So I went, yeah, like that, like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, so, that so, goes into the Jeff, toilet. Yeah. So here I am laughing. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and no, we're getting past uh, Victoria. I said, no, man, no pasó nada. So I fall asleep. We all fall asleep. We're all asleep. I'm asleep. I would sleep on the floor. And then I just felt the van breaking. Was we're entering Houston. <laughs> and it, no, it, it, we're entering. No, the reason we're, there, this, we're entering the five o'clock traffic jam. Whoa! Oh. Si no, so then, viene la vena, see, and I'm like, oh, man, we must be in traffic. So then I get up and I look back at the, and I look at Joseph and Joseph was like, <laughs> man, este, cuánto falta pegar? ¿Dónde vamos? Dije, ¿por qué le hacen? Venía sudando, bro. Oh, my God. Venía sudando. Go, Man, I'm not cagando. I'm not cagando. <laughs> and I said... And I aguantate. Just, I said, aguantate, bro. I go, aguantate. Bro. Aguanta. Y ahí vamos to... I was... I go... Man, we were going super slow, bro, because of the traffic. Finally, we played, I don't know, en, en un pinche monte por allá en, en, en Houston. Mm-hmm. Houston. The Woodlands? Ah, yeah. Que, 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 un pinche monte no, en the no, Woodlands. No, it wasn't the Woodlands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget because no. we were playing with it, It's the woodlands for La Raza, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Monte. Yeah. I'll never yeah. forget because the Monte. I'll never forget. Campo. I'll never forget because Ruben Robles was already playing. He was playing with El Poder. Mm-hmm. So we get off the van. Yes, the vato boats off the. the uh, he boats Vámonos. off the van. Oh my god. El vato, he fucking. I'm sorry. Oh, he went. Okay. <laughs> me salió. Es que me sale naturalmente. Discúlpeme. No, we'll bleep okay. it out. Don't worry about it. He no. went to the. He went to the restroom like I don't know how many times. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Me so mal el chocolate, carnal. So then, no, el get, Yahoo. No, bro. It gets, <laughs> el Yuhu. It gets even better. Que empieza el intro. Yeah, this is already like at night, oh eight o'clock. God. We're the first band. Y, y empieza el intro. In in, in la batería, batería. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember who was. The oh, it's like twenty minutes long. <laughs> right. Chu 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 chu. Yeah, yeah. Que el rato se anda cagando y la chica. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 y ahora el grupo del uh, momento. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Endorsed hey. by Yahoo. <laughs> hey, they, they would, hey, they would never see our names right. I said the intro would never oh see our names. Yes, she No, no, no. no. I, 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 know, I, know, I know exactly. Turno. No, no, no. You're saying that all wrong. They see our intro because it was Joseph's oh cap. Y en el bajo eléctrico, yo soy Scott. Yeah, they see in the bajo eléctrico, you sub Scott, Scott, and they were like, Joseph. you sub Scott. Wait, wait, can we look? The infierno. We're like, where's Joseph? I was running again to the pinche baño before. Oh no! And in the accordion, Jesse, Jesse Turner, Turner. <laughs> I get on stage, bro. We played the first song without Joseph on the bass. Oh, yeah. It gets better. Oh my god! It came out better the song. The night's over. <laughs> the, 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 the the night's over. And he's just like, he still doesn't know that I put laxatives in it. He doesn't know anything. The guys are like, just don't tell him. Don't tell him. Hey, Rock. Oh, my God. I promise you that these are true stories. You ask my oh guys, my they will, so they will confirm it for me. No, it, it, I probably, I mean, I believe oh, you. Yeah, wait, I'm wait. cracking up. So I then we get back stop. in the van. Puro caleros, bro. Ya los, ya, los, ya los pagaron. Ya los pagaron. Ya los pagaron. And we get into the van. And we're already getting on the, the expressway. Pues no me lo vas a creer que todavía había un, po- había un poquito de, de, de yuhu <laughs> y le hace Joseph. Hey, hey, uh, Turner. What? 
Pásame el, 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 el yuhu. Oh. Le dije, you, you want the yuhu? <laughs> so I'm like, ¿Para acabar de limpiarme? Es que se lo doy. He still, he still didn't know, bro. Oh, no. Que se lo hace. Que se lo traga todo. Que he drank it all. And then he goes. <laughs> he goes, did you put some magic chocolates in here? <laughs> <laughs> he tasted it. Yeah, bro. He knew at the at very the end. end. Estaba todo el pinche oh chocolate ahí. That was the first time, bro. So there was a second time. Yo me hubiera cagado dentro de la venca. Yeah, you wouldn't have cared. You wouldn't have cared. Fácil. Aguante no era cabrón. There was a second time, bro. There was a second time. In the cup holder. Yeah. There was a second time, bro, that that Juan Garza, our drummer. His name was Juan Garza. He was our drummer. He bought a, he bought a big bag of hot Cheetos. This is a true story. He bought, he bought a big bag of hot Cheetos. And we used, to, we used to have dancers back then. Azuquita and... Uh, Bien control, ya madre. Sí, Mini Mosca. Mini Mosca y, y from, from Big Circo. No era Manny. No, no era Manny. Era, no. Era, era, I mean, uh, Romeo Vaughn, no, sorry. No, no, no era, 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 era Mini, <laughs> Mini Mosca y era este Azuquita. Atao, atao. Yeah. So we, we, we're in the van. Y le hace Juan, uh, hey man, this whole Coke, le eché todo un paquete de, de, de laxatives, pero de polvo. Y, oh, no. And then so I, I'm like, how do I get him to drink it, right? Oh my God. And there's this guy, and his name is Alex Alex Castro Salupa. And Alex. why were you wanting him to drink it? Bro, no it wasn't me. Oh. I was just, I was the guy that would make things happen. Uh huh. They back there, check when Juan So got, you were an accessory, to, or what is it, you know? You, you're it's part, an it's, accessory to the crime. Yeah. It's because yeah. Checo could never keep a secret. So I'm like, what's going on? He goes, Make somebody drink it, make somebody drink it. So I thought, yo también de menso. So then entra Alex, y entra Mini, entra y viene ya manejando a su quita. And then so we get in there and I go, hey, 20 bucks. Para el que se chingue esta bolsa de hot Cheetos. And the only thing you could drink is this soda. Bro, no, I'm back with a pesca onda de volar, o no? ¿Qué chingo no, le metiste no, al que no, le echaste a la no, pinche no, soda? No. I said, porque you're not, no van a aguantar lo caliente putting so many hot Cheetos. You only got three minutes to do it. Oh, it, my but, God. It, but, bro, we raised like 140 bucks, bro. <laughs> we raised 140 bucks to see, and, 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 and Alex, he has nothing to do with this, bro. I don't, I don't, no, no llenito, ¿verdad? He has nothing to do with it. We're trying to get the dancer to do it. We're trying to get Mini Mosca to do it. Mm-hmm. And he said, Mini, oh, but I'll do it, right? And Mini Mosca is uh, Alex, uh, is uh, Big Circo's cousin. The, 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 the big boy. Yeah. You remember Mini Mosca, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's his, it, we're trying to get him to do it. But he said, Alex, espérame, carnal, espérame, carnal. ¿Cómo está la cosa aquí, carnal? ¿Cómo está la cosa aquí? Le van a pagar a este vato. Le van a pagar a hundred, cuánto, 140? Para comer una bag de hot cheetos y con el drink. No pinche hashiros. A mí no me pica ese jale. A mí no me pica. Y le dice a Mini, solo vato, le dice solo. Ey, mitad y mitad o qué? Te comenzaron a pelear. Le dice, ey, ey, ¿qué tal, Turner? We both eat the bag of hot cheetos and we both drink the soda. Dale gas. And I'm like, okay. And we put the timer on. Boom, que empieza el timer. Los dos están en chinga y está Alex. No me cala, esto no pica, carnal. Y él le decía. No, no, no pica. No pica, carnal. Estaban los dos. Hey, almost three minutes, bro. Ah, sí pica poquito, ¿verdad? So, bro, they took some big, big gulps. Y luego, ¿qué le hace a Alex? ¿Qué le hace a Alex? ¿Qué son estas piedritas? ¿Qué son estas piedritas? Oh, oh. Y que se enoja. The cat's out of the bag. Oh, no. Y que le hace. ¿Qué son, carnal? <laughs> ¿En serio? De sí, madre? sí, sí. Así, just the, the face I made. I know my guys are laughing on the bus because they know this is a trick. Ya anybody, sabía que se iba anybody, a cagar. Sí. No, he, he already knew the Joseph Scott story, bro. So he knew. And I go. Eh, güey, le dije. Nadie te dijo que te metieras, güey. Le dije. Nadie te dijo que me metieras. He goes, bro, I swear he said this. Are you ready for it? You guys aren't ready for this because I am. He goes, hey, carnal. Eso está bien, carnal. Eso está bien mal, carnal. En la Biblia dice que no deben ni hacer eso, carnal. Eso. Hey, wait. It gets super better, bro. It gets, oh so, it gets so much funnier, bro. Oh, so then, my God. 
Y digo, en la Biblia le dije, ah, chingado, le dije, ¿dónde en la Biblia dice que we're not supposed to give you likes? Y lo agarramos al puro pedo hasta la fecha, güey, todo lo traemos al puro pedo. Y, les, y nunca se Oh, he salió. felt the wrath of, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. the yeah. four horsemen. Uh, you know. Oye, oye, bro, it gets better, it gets better. Íbamos llegando, a, a, íbamos ya, veníamos de camino y todavía no le pegó a este vato, so we're, we're heading back home. We pass refugio, we were always coming through, through refugio, we pass Robstown. Y Paz Rivera y este y Bastos le hacen. Sabían que, que bien preocupado, sudando. He wasn't, nothing was happening to him. Y le hacen. Saben que yo me puedo morir de este jale, que yo estoy bien malo. Y que, y que, y que, y que y carnal, no. Se me puede salir la tripa por la cola y la chingada, nunca sabes. And, and, and he would use the word carnal for everything. No me carnal, y carnal, y carnal. Y carnal, está bien mal, carnal. Ando enojado contigo en la Biblia. Dice que no. Y, y, y wey, bro, so we. we oh, ¿Nunca pegó el jale o qué? Ay, para allá voy. Ok. Dame, dame, dame adelante. Oye, pues que nos vamos llegando. A, 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 we pass Rivera. And as soon as we pass Rivera, le say, oh shit. Le say, oh shit. Le say, oh man. Oh, párate ahí en el checkpoint. Párate en el checkpoint. <laughs> y le dije a su quita, remember the, el, el morenito que bailaba con nosotros. Simón. Le dije, no te pares. Le dije, no me paro la pinga. Le dije, no, no, no te pares. Tú nomás dale. So we didn't stop at the oh checkpoint. Goes, hey, God. carnal, carnal, párate, carnal. Carnal, carnal, párate. No me le dimos todo derecho, güey. <laughs> he goes, yo no aguanto, carnal. Yo no aguanto, carnal. Dame una pinche bolsa. Bro, he grabbed one of the Sears bags where we had bought some new sacos. Mm -hmm. And he goes to the corner. No más bien. Hijo de Inside the bag. Inside? Inside the bag. Como olía. No, hombre, olía bien. No se andaban basqueando ustedes. Todos, todos. Aquel venía con headphones. Azuquita venía con headphones. ¡Ah! Se orilló la van, mato. Y todos se bajaron basqueándose. It was the work, bro. Big shout out to all of you that like to watch while having dinner tonight. We appreciate you for... So, there was another time. There was one time. This began, this began, this began, this be, be this be, how do you say it? This began or begun? Was well, either it way. Began something? Yahoo, this, yeah. Yahoo, Yahoo, I don't this care. Be, bro, this, <laughs> this started. This began a, a, an obsession. With, este jale empezó. See, this began with, the, with an obsession with everybody taking a poop in a bag. Oh. Yeah. Inside the van. Yeah. Okay, you you say you say that because uh, Lucio Turner. That's my my nephew. He said, "Hey, tell Jesse to tell the story of pooping in the bag and the origin <laughs> and all See, that." So, he, hey, pues cuando andas el camino te puedes parar, carnal. No, no, no. Let, let me tell you this one. This is Fabiana Barrete. Salud para Fabiana Barrete. Who's our drummer at that time? Veníamos saliendo de Lubbock, and uh, I remember one time <laughs> somebody took a poop in a bag. While he was driving, they, they hit him with the back. Boom. Oh, my God. He, like, he was from Reynosa. He goes, hey, yo no vuelvo a venir con ustedes. Así que... Este jale es un desrespeto y que la chinga. Sin super, respeto este jale. He was super pissed, bro. Later on, this guy would take a, he would take a shit in, in, a, in a paper plate. He would roll it up and go like. <laughs> oh, it my was, gosh. We were, we were a very horrible band. Very dysfunctional. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> to me, it sounds like fun. <laughs> what do so, you mean horrible? Wait, so we're on our way back from Lubbock. And everybody's asleep. Y viene a su quita manejando otra vez. And back then, Freddie Records would give us a box of CDs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Promotional. Yeah. And, and this guy took out all the CDs. The same guy que dijo, esto no, no se debe ser. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Pues todos venían bien dormiditos. And then I peeked back and he was putting a plastic bag inside this box of CDs. So then he squats down on it while we're driving. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Azuquita. Azuquita has his headphones. Uh -huh. He doesn't know what's going on. And I'm just, a mí me encantaba el pinche ch I just like laughing, bro. Sí, pues, of yo, yo, yo dije. Se pasa el tiempo. You know, you know, you know, I would just go like this. Y a veces me echaba cologne aquí, y le hacía así. No, hombre. Y luego Fabián, pues. Y volía cologne con caca. Pues ya, cologne with wet ass. Yep, uh -huh. Old, old Spice yeah, and caca. Hola. Pinche hola. Carol, Carolina people, Herrera con caca, qué yeah. bárbaro. People, people, people were probably waiting for some type of inspirational thing tonight. I'm sorry, not tonight, guys. This is, this is, this is, this is I've been know. inspired to go take a shit. I don't know I about know. you all, man. I need to take a laxative so shit. So I need more fiber. Yo necesito una pinche purga ya que hables de eso. No me ha hecho una purga, te hago mes. So he sits down on it. And I need a Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> so he starts pooping, bro. He starts pooping in it. And then the smell just starts going through the van. <laughs> one by one. 
No se levante como que, que, como que somebody just hit It was him like the wave. Como un cachetada de peste así como It's que, like the, levántate la chingada. It's like the biblical, <laughs> the biblical oh, creeping yeah. death. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You, you had to put a, a, a cross with blood algo, over algo, the door of the lamb hey, bro, so on, <laughs> on your forehead so you wouldn't be able to I get that. Man. Yeah. I, know, I, know, <laughs> I, know this, I know that this is probably a word that you only hear in, in Santa Rosa, pero este casquete puso la caja Casquete? <laughs> este casquete That's supposed to mean masturbating for some reason. No. Yeah. No, it means you that? idiot. Oh, no. no. I remember them saying, eh, este vato se, cho, se avientó un cas una casqueta. Oh. No. <laughs> but he's saying that no, was Mercedes, no. and it meant you know. Well, for me, it meant, it meant that you're stupid. Okay, right? so this in San Benito, it meant diarrhea. How in the hell? So, uh, <laughs> well, how in the hell does casquete mean <laughs> dummy? I know, like or to pinch a loaf. Puñetas lo mismo. Tú sabes. Anyway, whatever, 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 whatever. So right this guy, he puts it behind him. And then the guy, the, yeah, Azuquita todavía no la huele. And all of a sudden, it hits and goes, Oh, la penga. Que se viene toda la caca, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He goes, No, no, no. It was his own shit, bro. <laughs> Man, dude, we all got up and we were like, Ah, just throwing up all over the place. Ew. I could imagine. They were the oh greatest moments. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they were the greatest moments. Yeah. And then it's... That's when being on the road was really shitty. But then, you know, now... <laughs> Wait, you're right. So, uh, then, so then I said... Now it's a lot bump. better in a bus. Do you let people sh take a shit in the bus? Hell no. Of no? Course well, yeah, we, st we still do. You can put a bag in yeah. the toilet we and sit in, in there and take a shit and throw it out or something, yes. right? So I got one last story. Kitty litter. This is a, this is how this is this is how bad we used to be. See, uh, Lucio uh, Lucio Turner Jr. He knows. He, a lot of people knew, but they wanted to hear it from from my own mouth, right? Uh -huh. So then we we were uh, we were playing at the Johnny Canales show. In Where? La, in Laredo. Orale. And at the arena, and we were in the back, and Joseph goes, "I gotta go, I gotta go." <laughs> Viene mini conmigo. I don't remember who else was with me. Tenía and, turtle head, el camarada. Y, y yo, le dije, yo le dije a los vatos de control, hey, tengo un nuevo sencillo. Vengan para que lo escuchen. So se sube Iván, el otro bailarín. Y se me hace que se subió el del bajo sexto. Like, que, Lupe. Que, Lupe, se sube Lupe. Se suben a la... Oh, y, y se me hace que Sergio también en the front. Y este Joseph went to the back, bro. And Joseph would never do it, but he said, I want to do it. So he took a shit. While they were listening to my brand new single. Inside their bus? Inside our van. Oh, orale. They got into our van, Los de Control. And the, and the, and the guy in, in, our, in, in our van, in our van, oh we, we, in our van, <laughs> it had broken off. So when it would go down, you were, you were locked inside, inside that van. So, bro, ya jo no se salir. Joseph's was the worst. Un guest chamber. It, it, it was like hell. Like, <laughs> it, uh, I mean, it was like. I'll switch. I mean, like, yo me estaba aguantando, pero me daba más risa. Now I know how guys on death row feel. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> so then, so they can, can. They have it better. So let me tell you. So, so, tan, so tan los bailarines. <laughs> Lupe atrás. Lupe gets a whiff of it first. Y le hace Lupe. Pues su pinche madre. Ponle ahí, ponle ahí. Le, de, 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 de control. Ponle ahí. <laughs> oh, ahí te voy. There are people that don't. I know people oh know, but this is a true God. story, by the way. Mini, mini Mosca can, can. I'm laughing because it's true. It's, uh, people, people are probably getting grossed out. I'm sorry. No, everyone's loving okay, it on the chat. Yeah. Vale, vale. So you know, fuimos a Dallas y él se cagó. Fuimos a Lubbock y él se cagó. Fuimos a Houston y él se cagó. So que se suben los bailarines y Lupe le hace Lupe. <laughs> y lo que y lo que llega con este con Danny ¿cómo se llama el otro? ay Iván Iván hace, el, el bailarín no le hace Danny le hace un mustache le hace yo chinga la madre que se está cagando a la chingada que entro y le hace la pinche puerta hey bro they started kicking the shit out of my door bro oh, they don't give a shit God. get the fuck out of there and they were like he said get the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he opens up gets off first when he get off these guys were locked in there for like about a Good 30 seconds. It's they soon. finally got off and they and they were about to sing the song and they were standing over there and they're looking at us like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>
They were giving that. They were giving you oh that look. Goodness. They were giving me that look, bro. But they loved me either way, man, because yeah. they knew that we were nothing but but fun. Yeah. Everywhere awesome. we went. Era we, Pantera de la onda. Yeah, dude. Okay. You know, back in the day, uh, I know I don't. I, I don't I try not to drink, because I, 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 I've, I've been saying that lately, but I've, I've had a few nights Except where when you want to out-drink uh, Chris Bettis. Chris Bettis. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I don't know why you told yeah, him yeah. that, que yo dije que I, I out-drank him. I never said that. You're such a damn liar. You did? You said I, that? I never, Didn't you say that? No. I thought you did. Yeah, no, he said I that said, you drank him under the table. He put it on his MySpace. No, I said I wanted to out-drink him. I said I knew I was going to out-drink him. And I said, and I ended up, I something, remember he said something ended up happening newborn giraffe. Yeah, but you did say at the end that you you out drank him. No, but I did it, not. You paid a price. No, I it didn't even see me. Carlitos también. We saw him throw up. He didn't even see me throw up. <laughs> I didn't even throw up till I got home. Just so you know. Anyways, this besides the point. Okay, all right. So then um, I decided, you know what? I just start bringing the camera with this, mm-hmm. like the camera. And we just start recording this. This is some funny ass shit. The VHS camera? Was no, it, one? it was no. Yeah, by this time, you yeah, have those digital ones, like okay. like the the, the, the little ones. Yeah, and we, we would record record with a lot of highs. Yeah. They would record with a lot of highs. And um, I remember I said, you know what? We're gonna start doing signal adventures. And I remember we were that band, bro, that we would stay after the club. And we had an or, an open tab, and we were just so much fun. Well, we, you guys were full of piss and vinegar. You were like, what, 22, 23, 24? Yeah, but you know what? I Hell I, yeah, enjoy that time, bro. So I said, <laughs> let's create this thing called Signal Adventures. Orale. And so here's some of the takes of the very first Signal Adventures we ever did. This is this is us at my cousin's place in Kingsville, Texas. Se llamaba Texas Ranch. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, there's what you can't see in the video, is the we had a like a U-Haul, uh, a rider, a rider vehicle, uh, oh, uh, like a truck or a trailer, a trailer with the, that would carry the equipment. Okay, yeah. And then it's got the ramp down, mm-hmm. and some I don't know why he's got a, a like a little motorcycle that he would that he would ride in, and uh, uh, Rock says that this is where my back problem started. Yeah, uh, it looks when, like it. But whenever you you would hit Signal Adventures, this is what would come out in the very beginning. All right, let's check it out. So Joey, what do you do? My We're, first. This is my first uh, road trip. They're popping my cherry with these guys. <laughs> the first time I was just like, okay, what's going on with Joey there? So this, this is Joey's first signal adventure. He's going with us on his on his on, on our first trip. And you know what? He's like that chavalon. He's thin there and everything. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's thin. Yeah, like he's going through a whole new. Uh, yeah, yeah. He it was when when he went to rehearsal for the very first time. Uh-huh. It was the weirdest rehearsal ever. The, the weirdest rehearsal ever, because he went to. He goes, okay, well, let's we're gonna practice at this time at one o'clock in the in the afternoon. Uh huh. And we're at my house in Corpus. I used to live in Corpus. Yeah. And we're sitting there, and he was part of the the Cumbia All Stars. So then uh, all of a sudden we hear a knock on the door and I open it and it's A.B. Quintanilla. And I'm like, hey, A.B., what's going on? Hey, how's it going, man? Heard Joey's going to help you. Yeah, come in. And he goes and he sits in a corner and it was the weirdest thing, brother. Weirdest Por qué? Thing. Pues porque si va a salir Joey de, de ahí. Oh, and, and he didn't know? A.B. didn't know? No, I think Joey had just told him that he was just going to come and help us. Mm-hmm. But then Joey went and saw that we were having... Work consistent work, and I don't know what was going on with them. They were doing a transition there. Mm-hmm. And Joey says, "Was well, I guess I'll st- And it was the Cumbia Kings, right, with uh, Cruz and Aiden. No, 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 Cumbia All Stars. Oh, it was Cumbia All Stars. And and it was kind of like already this is this is the end of that chapter. For mm-hmm. So then Joey goes to our rehearsals, and this is the first time Joey's hanging out with us. He, he had prior to this, he had never really been recorded like on a camera. So then again, you're gonna see the the bike, but after the bike. uh He's getting to know each and one, each, each and every. For the very first time. Yeah. So we're, we're going to go eat and, 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 and you'll see this. This is one of the very first signal adventures we did. Orale. So, 
though, Joey. What do you do? My We're, first. This is my first uh, road trip. They're popping my cherry with these guys. <laughs> the first time I was just like an invited guest. Now I'm actually a resident of this motherfucker. Now you're an employee. Yeah. <laughs> Should be fun. Uh, Jesse on the cover. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat some breakfast at exactly. Breakfast. Yeah, exactly one thirty. No, 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 I don't know why. Uh, no way, pinch of a hot way. You don't know that song? You know what? You fucking get demoted. That's a kiss song. Is that, that's the slow piece, Wayne? That's the, uh... I'm trying to look like, I don't know the lyrics there, but I know the slow piece. I said, with the kiss. No comida nada, that's all you can do. The hands are good, right? Hey, there's, is it yellow? Is it good enough? Of course it's good. Oh. Wow. I love it. <laughs> what are you doing, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were looking at me, Wayne. And so begins the signal adventures. <laughs> oh my goodness. You got a lot of footage of that? Oh, bro, a lot of different stuff. So we have like 24, 23, 22. Are you ever going to upload them? You know what? We have more footage. It's just that the last the last real good signal adventure was the one the one with my son. And we've just been trying to get back into it, but we're you know, we're coming out of that that process is cuz it was always so much fun. We always had that extra time. Mm -hmm. We always we were our own producers. But then it's the yeah we was we 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 aged and the, like the bag started going away yeah we were on a tour bus now two tour buses well, that's even more fun man yeah it is mm. more fun I mean more footage more content yeah, yeah. but but what I'm trying but you to need say, to hire somebody that's going to be doing it no what I'm saying is that we were we were still doing it all the way up until my son crashed mm -hmm. so here's here's one of the last uh, scene adventures that we did and this is with uh, with Jacob in it and this is us doing the cinnamon challenge let's check it out. Say, Cinnamon say. challenge, Jacob, Joey. On the count of three, ready? Salud. One, two, three. Bro, everybody That's was hilarious. doing that cinnamon challenge. That's I remember bro, that. It, so that was one of the last ones we did, man. It was. Yeah. You got to go watch them. So when you have a chance, go on to uh, YouTube and type in Signal Adventures. Watch from the very Orale. beginning. You, you'll see them evolve. As, and uh, ultimamente, pues, we have a lot of content recorded. We have some funny stuff, bro. We have, uh, we have La Fiebre Loca doing the one-chip challenge before it became famous. Mm -hmm. I recorded them like last year. for. What the was the one-chip challenge? Uh, it's just this chip that's super hot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like freaking hot fire hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's uh, not like hot Cheetos and a big Coke with powder no, in it, bro. Hell no. <laughs> no. This makes your tongue and mouth blue. I mean, I, I, we have, we, I think we did a whole adventures on that. But uh, we've, I have so much content. It's just time. It's like mm -hmm. you guys. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. It's it's it begins like when you used to do the the shows and you would produce them and you uh, mandame well, las fotos and recording and it's, all that. It's, it's it takes a lot of your time. Dude, I, I spend most of my life editing. That's yeah. what I do. And uh, you know, this is uh, when I, when I'm not here, when I'm doing this, I'm not editing. Yeah. When I'm not doing this, I'm editing and yeah. I'm creating content for three different pages. No, it, it gets overwhelming yeah, it, sometimes, it, it, it gets, bro. It gets overwhelming. And you stay busy. I follow yeah. you. You're I always putting super, stuff. You're always going live. Super busy. Like all this content. You, you just got so much going on yeah, man, in yeah. your brain. Man. But I'll tell you what, man. I mean, it, it slowed down a bit. The signal adventures after that slowed down a bit. But uh, we've been talking about it. We just need to start filming more because it's like that every day with Checo. 
and now uh, Chato tiene tiene la lucecita Chato tiene mm -hmm. ese he's got that, that that charisma yeah he's got the charisma the youth feeling of yeah yeah because my son had it and now he has it you know it's mm -hmm. like it, it got passed on to him and uh, todavía somos pero no como antes you're like Jersey Shore you know those guys from Jersey Shore they're all older but they're still acting like they were in you know <laughs> no 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 ahora ahora nadie se puede pedir en en el autobús no you can't even fart in the bus porque está chico <laughs> they got Lysol and shit now, right? They can afford Lysol, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to uh, Chaz and the Chat Zone. This one's brought to you by Roadies Country Fried Chicken in Eagle Pass, Texas. Old fashioned country. By the way, don't go away because uh, Jesse's going to play the guitar and sing or something real quick before we finish the show tonight. But hey, Roadies, look at that, man. We got some gizzards. If you didn't see the show last Thursday when he was here, air frying some packaged gizzards that he brought with him so it was freaking awesome mm -hmm. everybody on the chat zone were freaking starving man at the end of the show but you got to check them out 37 years of serving eagle pass with delicious fried chicken on the sides located 1910 Elindio highway the fastest drive through in texas call in your order 830-773-9189 is a number if you want some delicious fried chicken the best in texas it is Rody's Country Fried Chicken in Eagle Pass, Texas. And he's uh, opening up a really nice place uh, close to the the casino. And we'll mm -hmm. let you know about it. As soon as he opens up, he's going to let us know so we can let everybody know. All right. So, Chaz, what do we got on there, bro? Well, a lot of terms uh, saying stuff like Grupo Chorro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Grupo Cagaleros. So there's a lot of uh, fecal matter in the chat zone. Um, <laughs> but... They, Lisa R. is still asking for the song. She wants to hear the song. Okay. And also, one question from Sergio Gonzalez. And Sergio Gonzalez was asking, so where does the Turner uh, name come from? What, what, how does that play into uh, who you are? So what's the origin of, of Turner in Jesse Turner? Well, back in the days when... Uh the dinosaurs were guys. <laughs> now, I, I, when I really, the cavemen roamed the earth, Neanderthal. Uh, man, I really don't know. I just know it. it, it I, I want to kind of remember the story. It, it's from uh, your mom's last name is Turner. No, it's my dad's. It's your dad's. Yeah, our line. And your mom from, didn't take your dad's name. Say it again. Your mom didn't take your dad's name. Or? Yeah, but she got remarried. Oh, she got remarried. Oh, oh okay. Because your dad was thirty years older than her, right? That's correct. Yeah. So uh, it comes from. Um, it's, it comes from some war that they were having down here. The Texas, was it the Texas Revolution? Where Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. or Mexican-American War. Mexican-American. And they were the last soldiers to get uh, here to uh, South Padre Island. And his name was uh, Josiah Turner. Okay. And se vinieron a vivir, eran, y se casaron con mexicanas. Eran bolillos que se casaron con mexicanas. Mm -hmm. And it just uh, kept going down the line. Y salieron más morenitos and more like this color here. And yeah, we, and we kept the name. And there's a lot of names, English names, uh, with Hispanics here in the Rio Grande Valley due to the fact that there were military people yeah. that were uh, yeah. that were and, stationed and down here, and they ended up marrying local women. Like my mom was from San Luis, and my dad ended up he ended up marrying her. But my father, I mean, era mi pa, mi padre era ranchero, era de, you know, he lived in the. In, 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 I wish I would have gotten to know him. I really era, era un gallero. He would fight roosters. Uh, when when I knew some. A family that would do that for Mercedes, and mm -hmm. they'd go across, and they'd come back with lots of cash, dude. From, well, from I remember, I fights. remember, my my dad was a pr pretty serious uh, rooster fighter. He would, uh, man, he would train them. Uh, I always say the story. I think I told. I don't. I don't know if I told you last time, but I remember one time that he had a. I want to say he had a really good rooster, a, and he would put like this thing on his foot. Yeah, like little blades and shit. No, 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 no. no. It was like a. Like a collar, but it's not. It's for your leg. It's like a leg mm -hmm. bracelet. Okay. Right? And then this stick in the middle and a ring around that rope. And my dad would walk like this and the rooster would, would do laps. Oh. He was right? exercising. Yeah, he's exercising the Gotta rooster. Gotta be conditioned to fight. Yeah. Wow. So then I remember I got in there one time and the rooster uh, right here. I don't know if you can see. I have like a bald spot. The chingo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rooster got up and yeah. was, ah, uh -huh. I had roosters chase oh my, my ass goodness. a couple of times. But that happened that happened in that instant when I was with my dad. Now and, and I'm I don't know why some things just stick with you. I just remember my dad. I just remember the blood coming down and my dad just grabbing the rooster and he didn't even care, bro. He just twisted its neck and he killed yeah, it. Yeah, who knows? Like And Mom will cook him. I'm like, 
I came and that, like in my mind, I stop and think about it. Why would you kill it? You know, it's still a fighting rooster, but it, it was because I was his son. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, so, uh, it's like it's like if you have a dog that's a pit bull and it attacks you, you got to, you know. You got to put it down. Yeah, yeah, so. It's not supposed to attack so humans. My, my dad, I remember we would go fight uh, roosters in Los Fresnos. Íbamos por allá por Los Fresnos en the Arroyo, por allá en Cementiana, en un monte. Mm-hmm. And I remember when. Allá se hacen las escondidas, los uh, cock tr- fights tr- aquí en, el, en, en Texas. Todavía? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've I've been to some before back in the day when I was partying. Yeah, no, it was, and it was guys there betting twenty grand for for fight. And you were the MC? No, I I, I wish I was. <laughs> and no. now el gallo no. rojo. They, they had a they had an MC like from the the radio station La Ley. Y ahora tenemos. Oh my god. Acá tenemos el gallo más fino. Oh my god. And then there would be referees that are crooked también. Yeah. <laughs> no, they 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 did. So I remember that my dad when he would fight a rooster, he would sit me on top of the bench. And uh, I remember seeing one of the weirdest things that I told people about it today and they said, "Oh, that's totally normal." Your dad was a gangster, man. Your dad was a get up, you know. Wait, I, well, they I, hang out at those places. So, so, <laughs> yeah. so, so my dad, he uh, he would grab the rooster in the middle of the fight, and when they would take a break, he would uh, grab the rooster's head, put it all in his mouth, and he'd go, yeah, and then go, and he would spit out the blood. And yep, I, and they then, they do all that wow. stuff. Yeah. And and then I, and then yeah, I come you know later on, I ask my family why why would he do that? Oh, era para refrescar el gallo. To mm-hmm. refresh the, the rooster. To oh, mouth to mouth resuscitation, carna? Yeah. Mouth, very interesting. Mouth to beak? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any other questions on there on the chat zone? I just waiting for the song. They're waiting. I mean, they, they, they got to go to work. It's okay. already 10.05. They want to hear him sing. Okay, well, look. Let's play a little clip of the song that he just recorded, and it hasn't been released, but you need to save it or pre-save it, right? Mm-hmm. On uh, iTunes, and you need to pre-save it on all streaming services whatever you got pre-save it so you can buy it and then uh we want to see jesse uh, number one okay this week all right so if that that can happen and then, oh it, it can it can totally happen i always tell people look i never i we never asked for much it's gonna cost you like 99 cents or like a dollar 49 to buy the song and the I, band doesn't make anything of anything out the of the money's it. not even for us it's for the songwriter yeah it's for uh adrian uh, Saludos para Adrián de Monterrey, Nuevo León, who wrote this song. Who, by the way, have lost so much money from the the new way of, you know, distributing music. Definitely. <laughs> Back during the royalty years in the uh, 90s, you, you they were make, making a lot of good money. You would, I would be super rich. That's why, uh, <laughs> what's Don Henley, he hated YouTube because so it, did Prince. it destroyed, I mean, it, it hurt the songwriters. Mm-hmm. He goes, and they asked him, uh, Charlie Rose asked him about it. He goes, why? Why? Do you hate it so much? He goes, well, you know what? I can perform. I can play. I can make money through shows. Mm -hmm. The songwriter can't. That's how they make the living. That's how they make. So now YouTube just took all that food off their their table. Uh, So that's what happens, right? It happens. Uh, I mean, I'm a songwriter myself, but... uh I mean, I mean, do you still get royalties from radio airplay? I, I still do. I get a little fat check. I've written over a hundred songs. Yeah. So me va bien. Digo, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Every three months, I get a good. A good. Uh, it's just you just have an abundance of songs and hits, man. Yeah. I mean, and you, that's going to keep you going for a while, even after yeah. you're done playing. Yeah, man. Well, this 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 year, yeah, we're finishing. Uh, this Friday will be. Uh, let me look at my phone so I can tell where we're going to be at. Este viernes vamos a estar por allá en la ciudad de. This Friday, we'll, we're actually tonight, again, pre-save or just buy it. Uh, if you go to the Apple Store, uh, the iTunes, please purchase this new song. It's called No De Villamar. I shouldn't be calling you, but I am. And let's hear a little bit of it. Why not? Why not? Let's go yeah, for the very first time. Let's check it out. Let's listen to it for the first time here.
why to hear the hook. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't know if you wanted me to play uh, a lot of it because, yeah. you know, I mean, people will need to get it to hear it, not the entire thing. Yeah, but. man. I mean, it, it's about to, it's probably already out at 11. I didn't know it's about an hour away, but this, please, the only thing that we ever ask from people is just to go out, purchase a song on iTunes. Uh, it's $1.49 and help us get to number one, to have the number one song in todo este, lo que es este, all of iTunes. Hold on there. Hey, we want to say hi to uh, Camp House Adventures. They just sent $30 on a super chat. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll donate that to the Yaki Animal Rescue. Thank you. And we should do the, we, Applause. Put in applause for that. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. So, um, by the way, uh, I was talking about Joey a little while ago. Joey uh-huh. Jams. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I saw a post that he put together that, uh, you know, he's going, he's getting healthy. He's got rid of the Cokes and all oh, that. I didn't even know that. And, uh, yeah, that's why I was saying that. He, he looked thinner there, you know, right? Because he went into, uh, you know, he's doing a, a health kick. And I, I really, you know, kick ass, bro. Real happy yeah. to see that, man. Yeah, you if know? It, keep, keep it going, man. There was a time where he did that. He, he got on a diet and he got super thin, like, this yeah he's got the metabolism you know and then he's a drummer dude you know let me tell you a story i'm gonna tell you one one last story so when we first started um we always wanted to be big you know we we didn't want to be big in the sense of we were looking at at levels we didn't want to be like no big as in stage we wanted to have a very strong stage presence and uh i'll never forget one time we played in lubbock and we were in Lubbock, and we're like, I'm like, man, I wish we could one day. I want to, I want to be one of those bands that has a big, a big a curtain. <laughs> you know, the big curtain. Como that, kiss. Yeah, man. The like, scorpions. Like I just saw. Comienza ni de caila. Everybody, bro, everybody, Def Leppard. I mean, Metallica. no matter. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Def I mean, Leppard, something just sucked it out, and it's yeah, really cool. Like it's, it got sucked. Yeah, in, it yeah, got sucked in. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I saw that. Uh, Carol G has everybody, and I'm like. Man, I really want one. Like I, so we were. Richard was like, you know, we can always make one. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> mastermind. <laughs> Did he have his his pinky in his mouth? Like, yeah. was know. he petting a white cat? <laughs> was he like? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He has a he has a beard, so he not always, a white cat, he, a, a he, furless cat. He does this a lot. Go like this. <laughs> That's just lesson. <laughs> yeah, like exactly, the white cat was the original. Just like that, he yeah. does it like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, so I say, you know, I do have some fishing line. And I can probably rig up something here. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, there's no. Clica style. Ilota, Ilota, Joy. Yeah, man, let's do it, man. And I'm like, well, you know what? Well, then I can dance in front. Of, we can put a spotlight in the back. And I can dance in the in the front. And I can be. The, the silhouette, front. the silhouette. Yeah, you can, you're going to see the silhouette. Like, because I saw it with Mana. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's do it, man. Okay, what are we going to do with Corona Sabana? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, is that going to work? It's gonna, it'll work. So we had already done all the sound check and everything. Una sabana de Sears, órale. No, era la sabana mía. Ah, no, pero te la compraste en Sears. Yeah, uh, and, and it was Montgomery like, Ward. Right? Yeah. It was like <laughs> it, was, it was a very big sabana. I mean, it was it was se ve que ni estaba limpia. It was just estaba chorreada, chingo de manchas amarillas y la chinga. You're dumb, bro. No. Caca y no. todo. <laughs> but it, it still God. said signal, hey. though. Fart, oh, fart oh. resin. That's the one Ew. you had on your head when that dude farted right Ew. on it. It's something it like had that. fart resin. Era esa sabana. Yeah. So anyway, we... we, we <laughs> That's a death metal <laughs> band. Fart <laughs> resin. <laughs> so Punk. So then we... we Punk we, band. I don't know what we did. The fart resin. I don't, know, I don't know what we did, but we put some... Uh, some, some... Some... Some fishing line... And all we had to do was somebody back here would cut it, uh-huh. and it would drop. Ay, Ay, yeah. Wait, we, we, we even we had even added some weight on the on the on the on the. And that one being spinal tap, <laughs> estos vatos, no, and, and, yeah, and, yeah. and and man, I tell people these stories, and they're like, "No way, man! There's no way that you guys did that." I'm like, I wish it was a lie. Well, like, do we got the video? But there's yeah. actual video. Yeah. Of it. So here you Put go. It on. This Put was it. us in Lubbock, Texas. We made it happen. The- right, wait, wait, wait. Make sure you pay attention because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna at the end of my dance. I look back and I say, "Tear it, like <laughs> tear it." <down." laughs> here it is. This is in Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas. Come on, David. Come on, 
That just happened. <laughs> you idiot. Halloween costume was what was it? Batman del Barrio. Oh my god! Hey man, oh my did Jesus. you see that? I can't believe there's a video of us oh doing god. that, man. If we would have, we would have never recorded. Nobody would ever believe us, bro. Wow. I'm glad uh, you recorded man. it. It's, it's, it's for life, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to show my people. And, my kids, my other, my grandkids. Oye, pues, let me tell you, bro. Se pare, para, parecía que es ese pedo, ¿verdad? La pinche curtain, que hay de yeah, la boca it's cheddar. Massive, it's massive. <laughs> did you see when I, when I did the... Hey. Like, cut it. Hey. <laughs> cut the fishing line. Hey, you know what the funny part is, bro? Is that when we were done, we all get in the bus. Man, that was fucking bad. Bro. Hey. Ah. Nobody does it like us. Pinche <laughs> kiss. No trae nada kiss. <laughs> Pinche buzz pesado, Oh my god! Oh man, those were the those were the the good old days. You know so, what? I, I like to take the time to say hello to all the band members that ever were a part of Signal. Uh, you were all every single one of you from the very first one from the Scots to the Castañedas to Fabian to Juan to uh, Joey. Uh, we had two Joeys, one on the bajo sex, to one on the drums to Chino. To everybody, to the guys that are on the bus right now, they send me a text. They're all cracking up on oh the bus, bro. Oh my god, I didn't. <laughs> they're cracking up because they've heard the stories, but I don't think they've taken the time to like go and back and see the videos. Like I'm explaining it. Yeah. And 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 and. Aparte, we're doing some color commentary. Acá nosotros también. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they like that so, too. bro, man. I mean. It's just been an amazing journey for me. So, saludos a todos mis amigos, todo el road crew, all the all. If you were ever part of our road crew, thank you so much. I mean, we. How we, many years have you been doing this, man? Twenty years. Twenty-two years, wow. bro. And it, it doesn't count with the estilo. Yeah. It doesn't count with the intento. It doesn't count with Ruben Bella. Yeah, just but signal. Twenty-two years, 20, still, wow. man. Signal. Twenty-two. Over and at the two top decades. of at the top of your game. I yeah. mean. And I was about to tell you uh, the Most guy, bands they peak And then they You know they, they, they Este fin de semana Like let me tell you Where we're going In case if you guys Are watching from Consistency man That yes. freaks me out yep. this, That's amazing It's uh, awesome We got that the guys Are already on the road They're driving up to Ralston uh, Ralston uh, Nebraska We're gonna be at The Liberty First Credit Union Arena with, wow. with Bronco Wow And Guardianes wow. del Amor and then on uh, the fifteenth, for those big shows, con mm -hmm. uh -huh. we're on on uh, this Saturday, we're gonna be on October fifteenth. We're gonna be at the Outridge Arena with Bronco at Maplewood, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So that'll be Saturday. Yeah, está bueno frito para. They said they said it's forty nine degrees. Oh my! And then we finish up. Uh, we finish up. I had a hard time saying this name. We finish up with Bronco in uh, De Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. Hey, the S is silent. No yes. shit? Yeah. No, it's Des Moines. Yeah, it's Des Moines. <laughs> just, Des there's Moines. just one Des Moines. Des Moines. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to Des Moines, Iowa, and we're going to be at the Val Air Barroom. Y también va a ser con el Grupo Bronco. Todo este fin de semana, 
And then we well, yeah, that's awesome. oh, you know hasta, hasta hey, el tronco los bailes. The, yeah. the following Saturday, October 22, we're going to be playing for the city of Palmview. That's oh, oh. October 22. Mm -hmm. este, ladies and gentlemen, uh, follow Jesse on his it's Instagram free. I and it's on free. his uh, social media. Uh, Jesse's always, uh, you know, promoting and, uh, and, <laughs> and letting all the fans know what's going on with the band and where they're playing. And, uh, and if you've never seen Jesse Turner, Grupo Signo, uh, I recommend you check him out, man, and you'll be thoroughly entertained because Jesse just doesn't sing and play accordion. He puts on a show. He's an entertainer. Well, we already saw he can dance. Yeah, and he's a communicator as well. I right. Mean, that's that's a plus when you're a leader of a lead singer or the face of a band, when you can communicate with an audience. That is, uh, I think Jesse's one of the best at it. Thank so, you, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, so anyway. Um, I will tell you about, look, you know. I want to show you something. I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the guys are watching on the on the tour bus. They're on their way there. Oh, guys! Awesome. Saludito, guys. Shout out to them. Saludito. So Saludito. they're Thank waiting you. to hear a song. You brought a guitar. Uh, yes. You've got the microphone right there, and we put a microphone that'll mira, ca mira, mira, mira. capture the guitar as well. These are the guys. <laughs> Can you imagine having fun That's on the road awesome. like that? that a show so within awesome. a show. Yes. We were showing YouTube from YouTube. And heading mm -hmm. to Nebraska to play in an arena with one of the biggest bands in the world, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's awesome. That's crazy. It's exciting. It exciting. is, bro. It, it is. Get the madre. Bendecidos ya madre, bro. Very blessed, bro. Yeah, gacho bad, bro. Big well, I'll tell you what. Bro. Yes. Ya estamos terminando este año. We're, we're, we're finishing this, this year, right? Let's um, bajarle poquito, carnal. Yeah. We're finishing up the album. I mean, we're finishing up a, a brand new album. And uh, what we decided to do this year was kind of go back a bit to our roots. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to record a, a Norteño Tejano album. We're going to, uh, I mean, we're still going to have the Rocteño, right? Mm -hmm. But we're going to we're gonna go back to our roots and do a half Tejano, half Norteño album. Orale. So this is, one of, this is one of the songs. We have some very beautiful, amazing songs on this next album. We only have... Four songs written, and based off of the first four, we already have two singles. One for the one that's coming out tonight in about an hour and a couple of minutes, No Debi Llamar. And then one that's coming out in, in uh, February. I, I, I can't give the specific details, but, man, I'll show them to you once we're done here. Mm -hmm. But the songs are just, they're, they're just a signal revived. And we decided next year, instead of going on tour with everybody, we're going to bring a, a very massive tour for next year. We decided that... We're gonna do the what we we're gonna do in 2020 for our 20th anniversary. We're gonna put on the cowboy hats and we're gonna do changes. In yeah, yeah. In between yes. our sets, put on the Wranglers. Oh, awesome. We're gonna do the, the the Wranglers and then we're gonna change into the jumpsuits there from from the Ya No Me Importa video. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna change into La Otra Tu. Then we're gonna do uh, the Rocteño and uh, the Evolution. The Evolution. All in one night. All in one night. That that'll be for next year. We'll be rehearsing for it in January. And uh, like, like I've told you before, we rehearsed a whole Lo Que Estona Semana. We, we, we practice. But this is the beginning of that tour. Mm -hmm. This song right here is, is the beginning of what's coming. So the, the, the one thing that I keep asking for people to do is just go to iTunes and just purchase it so we can reach the top 10 because it's an accomplishment for us. It's, it's something that we can brag about. It's going to happen. Why am I, why am I going to lie about it? You know, we, we, we have the, we're able to say, man, we, we were able to make it together. If, if, if Bad Bunny can fill up the, the Alamo Dome, there's yeah. no reason why we can't do this with you guys. It'll be friends. like the feeling of a curtain, of a court of a savanna falling right. off exactly. in the front yes. of the stage. But yes. more no, better. No, but more did, better, yeah. You, you heard all of our, you know what, on our on our past previous shows, I've told you how much I've suffered. I've told you, I've told you the, my struggles, my sacrifices. But today, you got to hear something different. You got to hear us, the, the funny side of Signal, the funny side of jesse turner the, the funny things have, that have happened to us on the road but uh it, it's created who we are today man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh we we got this song maybe about three three months ago uh i always have a hard time saying his last name uh salud para mi amigo se, 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 I, yo no más sé que se llama adrian pero siempre batallo con su apellido is it uh is it a, it's not your common last name okay. no 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 ahorita te digo es este Adrián Armendariz. Armendariz, es hermano de Pedro. Adrián Armendariz de Monterrey, Nuevo León, Orale. que escribió esta canción. Uh, él me la mandó bolero. Uh, he sent it to me bolero. And we recorded this song in two versions, but you're only going to get one for now, mm -hmm. which is uh, 
Let's do it. Which I'm going to sing for you guys for the very first time. So you're in my hino, right? We just shot. Wait a minute. You know, you know what we did yesterday, Rock? Uh, we shot the music video for it. Well, we've got some uh, like behind the scenes of that. Yeah. Well, I like, get ready here. Look, this is a uh, this is what's up and coming for for our our brand new music video. This is some behind the scenes never seen before. You're gonna see it here on PBT for the first time. Orale. Behind the scenes with Signo. It's all. No de Villamar. Oh really? What are you talking about? See, you're gonna you're gonna get out of the the real one. Right there, he's using like a cutter or a like a four iron. iron. Nah, he's using a four iron. Wait, it's not yeah. such thing as a twenty iron. No. Look at this, Charlie Clark over here in Laredo, Texas. Hell yeah. Yo no todo mi gente. Signo con Jesse, mi hermano. And this guy have a tenemos algo en común. Queremos cómo queremos a nuestras madrecitas. Sí. Esto lo diga. Este, ya saben, very good friend of mine, his uh, brother, yeah, Jody, Jody Metz, uh, actually helped me get my career started with my very first album. El primer disco de este signo, su hermano fue parte de esa compañía y su hermano vive aquí en mi corazón. Sí. En este, yeah. Se falleció hace unos años, pero está aquí con nosotros. Allá, acá, aquí. Con nosotros. <laughs> I'm drinking to get a buzz. I feel buzz already. Yeah. Saluditos amigos desde San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Oh, director. The last, the last one standing, Mayari. <laughs> Good night. Makeup, wow. right? Dude, <laughs> now now that I see you like trying to get into character, that's not easy, dude. No, it's, not. it's not. It's not. I mean, you want to make it look good. Did you hear what I said? What? That I had. I said I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get a buzz. buzz. Yeah, because the song. You're the uptight about making it, make it look real. Yeah, like I, no, 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 no. The song, like when I hear the song, I imagine a drunk guy. Like mm -hmm. he can't help himself. So he has to call her. You know, the the, the, the girl is with somebody else already. Yeah, she's already moved on. Mm -hmm. She's on to the next chapter in her life. And she's laying in bed. But the thing is that the, what you saw right there, we shot a video like if we're in the 1990s. The girl, we had her dress up like Kelly Kapowski. We bought outfits like that were like her. I on the obvious still como Zach Turner. It was like <laughs> Saved by the Bell. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. So we were... We, we, <laughs> We had we had we bought the landlines. If you notice, there was landlines on there. Mm -hmm. You recognize it, but some people are gonna say like, "What was what that? What the hell is that?" And yeah. I, I'm even and you didn't see it because there, there's there's only such uh, there was only a little bit of a, a footage there. But I was carrying a boombox, you know, because I I love the '90s, and I'm 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 I want to I wanted to be a part of this video. Like <laughs> I imagined I I imagine a guy he wants to really be with this he really wants to be with this girl. And he loves her, but it's too late. Just like every typical story that you hear. And so I always tell people, man, value what you have. So like Anjun dice. First, I'm going to say it to you. Because it, 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 to me, when I'm going to pick a song for Signal, when, when I'm going to, you know, I listen. the first thing I do is I listen to it. And I ask myself, can I say this song as a poem? Can I say it as a, like, as a speaking to somebody? And then I send it to Richard. And I tell him, what do you think, right? So the first thing I do is. A pesar de todo el tiempo que pasó Sigues metida hasta el fondo De mi corazón So it says Even after everything that's happened A pesar de todo el, A pesar de todo el tiempo que pasó Even after all the time has passed Sigues metida hasta el fondo De mi corazón You're still deep in the deepest parts of my heart Discúlpame, pero era necesario. Please forgive me. I mean, it was just necessary. Saber cómo te va y escuchar tu voz. It was just necessary for me to want to hear your voice. So I'm calling you. Lo nuestro sé que termino para siempre. I know that what we have, it's come to an end. 
que tu vida reinventaste, that you reinvented yourself. Pero en cambio yo, but in return I haven't. Aún sigo con la idea de que un día I still keep living living with that dream with the, with the I keep living with the hope that que algún día regreses y me darás tu amor. And I know I keep hoping that one day you're going to come back to me and give me your love. So no debí llamar. I know I shouldn't be calling you. Sé que alguien está durmiendo a tu lado. I know somebody's sleeping next to you. Y que tiene el privilegio de tus labios. Y te sientes tan segura entre sus brazos. He says, I know I'm not supposed to be calling you. Because I know that you're sleeping next to someone that has the privilege of, of having your arms and having your kisses. No debí llamar para arrugarte y decirte que te extraño. I shouldn't have to be calling just to tell you, to beg you and to tell you how much I miss you. Para que te tranquilizo con mi llanto. Why should I even tell you what I'm feeling? Si las cosas tú me las dejaste claro. If you made things so clear to me, you made it clear to me. No debí llamar para decirte lo mucho que te amo. No debí llamar para decirte lo mucho que te amo. I know I shouldn't be calling you, but it was necessary for me to tell you that I love you. So now you can hear it. A pesar de todo el tiempo que pasó, sigues metida hasta el fondo de mi corazón. Disculpa, pero era necesario saber cómo te va y escuchar tu voz. Lo nuestro sé que terminó para siempre, que tu vida reinventaste. Pero en cambio yo aún sigo con la idea de que un día regresarás aquí y me darás tu amor. No debí llamar, sé que alguien está durmiendo a tu lado y que tiene el privilegio de tus labios. Y te sientes tan segura entre sus brazos. No debí llamar para rogarte y decirte que te extraño. Para que te tranquilizo con mi llanto. Si las cosas tú me las dejaste claro. No debí llamar. Para decirte lo mucho que te amo No debí llamar para decir And that said just repeats itself But guys, you have to go out and get it right now And just so you know, I only stopped Because I wanted to sing you the bolero version That is not going to come out yet So this is the bolero version A pesar de todo el tiempo que pasó Sigues metida hasta el fondo de mi corazón Discúlpame pero era necesario Saber cómo te va Y escuchar tu voz Lo nuestro sé que terminó para siempre Que tu vida reinventaste Pero en cambio yo Aún sigo con la idea de que un día regresarás aquí y me darás tu amor. No debí llamar, sé que alguien está durmiendo a tu lado y que tiene el privilegio de tus labios y te sientes tan segura entre sus brazos. No debí llamar 
Para rogarte y decirte que te extraño Para que te tranquilizo con mi llanto Si las cosas tú me las dejaste claro No debí llamar para decirte lo mucho que te amo No debí llamar para decirte lo mucho que te amo. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Woo! I love man. it. Unplugged PVT, Woo! papa. I love it. Asustame one time. Como dice la t-shirt de Jesse. Asustame one time. Jesse, appreciate you coming over, man. Oh, yeah, man. It's always awesome to have you here, man. And I appreciate that uh, you... You enjoy coming on our I show. I love it. I love it. You know, it, it, this is a place where I could be myself. Yes. No filters and <laughs> say the truth and say it how it is. And, yeah. You know, I've been I've been very blessed to have you guys as friends. I have everybody that's connected, knowing more about about a Jesse Turner that they might have had a wrong impression of, or you, you might think that I'm all serious or that I'm always crying. Or it, that it, it makes you human, bro. Yes. It makes me who I am. It I is am, being a human. I am a, senti- I am a sentimental, happy, funny person. And this mm. is just a, another side that you got to see uh, out of myself. I wish the guys... And he's always been like that, folks. I mean, ever yeah, since I, mean, I knew I wish, him. I wish the guys were here, you know, but... Uh, did, I t- did I ever t- uh, talk about when I... I won that bet and I painted your hair pink or something like that. What? And he had to play with his hair pink. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, we've been doing this crazy shit for a long, a long time. time. And, and, I, and I, sometimes I wish that you would turn on the cameras like right when I walk in. <laughs> I know he doesn't want to do it because he gets embarrassed. But can you do that? that, that you, you were where, you said? What? You said you were in a, somewhere up in far away and playing with Topaz. Oh, Topacio yeah. And Caldwell, I don't know. Topacio. I know you, I know you don't want to do it, but, but do it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Because, ladies and gentlemen, when I was with Topacio, we were talking earlier <laughs> off the, off camera before we started the show. I was correct. And we, I used to sing with the Tejano band, Topacio. And we went to Caldwell, Idaho, and there was yeah. like five people in the damn big gym because Fito Olivares was playing across town or something like that. <laughs> but we would do a song called Rock and Robin, and I had oh, the hardest yeah. I had the hardest Come time. Yeah, you did a pretty good job earlier. Twiddly, 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 I mean, you had to keep doing that for I don't know how long. Forget like, it. Let, let me hear, let me back then. Let me hear, let me hear you try one. <laughs> Who me? Yeah, come on. What? Say it. Do it. Twiddly diddly dee. 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 Tweet 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 tweet. Yeah, I don't know. You didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't give her a try, Rock. Twiddly dee. Twiddly, twiddly, te- I don't know. <laughs> she said teeth. I said teeth. She said teeth. I think that's a better version. <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey. Woo. That was thank the hardest so thing to do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tomorrow night. We've got Nano Ramirez. He's celebrating 50 years as a promoter here in the Rio Grande Valley. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a three-day festival. What it's is gonna that? Be, it's going to be the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. What's the venue? It's going to be the McAllen Convention Center. Chaz nice. is going to host uh, on Sunday with rock, and there's going to be tribute bands like from Maiden and Metallica, Whiskey Deal perform as well. Megadeth. On Saturday night, it's Tejano with Ruben Ramos, the very first uh, person that Nano booked for his first dance back in 1971. No kidding. Uh-huh. Wow, I just saw him. Yeah. And David Lee Garza, the music is going to be, it's going to be awesome. And then on Friday, it's Easton Corbin. They do the country, and they're going to bring Mo Bandy and Joe Stampley, who were one of the first guys... And I want to go see them, dude, and John Conley. And remember that song they had, Where's the Dress? It was like Culture Club, yeah. making fun of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night, it's, we're going to talk some really cool stories with Nano Ramirez, being a promoter for 50 years. Everybody knows him here in South Texas in the Rio Grande Valley. Plus, he also does concerts in San Antonio and in Corpus. Uh, he's mm-hmm. brought so many mm-hmm. artists on. Yeah. You know what he has in his house, dude? He has a T-shirt from every concert that he's done since he opened the Villarreal, bro. He's what? He has a T-shirt of the every concert of every concert. Wow, that's every crazy. artist. D- yeah, like, that is insane. It's insane, dude. He's got I that. S- I saw you walking into the house. And yeah, 
I, saw, I think I saw it on TikTok. Well, I put it on YouTube, the entire footage. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I saw the, was it the one where you were, where he has a, a picture of Axl Rose? Yeah, that That's they took awesome, in the bro. Villarreal. And right after they played here, Guns N' Roses, they opened up for Alice Cooper, actually. Wow. They skyrocketed. Like, the, like six months later, they were gone, dude. It was over. And so, I mean, he has his, walking into his home office at his house, Jesse, is mm -hmm. like walking into a time capsule. It's pretty awesome, man. Man. So. But look, I don't know what the guys are saying. Let me, let me hear what they're saying. So, while you're on TV, I'm always watching you guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We'll see you tomorrow night live. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. And share all our stuff on social media, okay? And follow us on social media. All right? He's got to go poopage. Let's go. <laughs> got to go.